Is that in, yeah? Oh, yeah, it's in there, I think. Yeah, Andy's in there. There you go. Uh, back in front of the camera again, Andy. Uh, <laughs> how did you find the, the, the interview today that you've had? I know it wasn't a proper interview, it was just like a pre-interview. <coughs> How did you find it, and uh, how did you find it, like when the names were uh, mentioned? And I, well, first I was terrified when, because I was told that these bugs were taken out of my house. Then when the well found with the architecture and everything, and we went through over again, and then the other journalists looked and that, and, and there was definitely there, weren't the guys? There were definitely there. Well, we went round with the bug detector, didn't we? And just tried to have a look about and, and they were showing up all over the place and we double checked it and we went back again and we went back again. And that was from from it's definitely downstairs to your bedroom. And and, and back down again there was And the, they ranged the between screaming. things like they could be a double plug, they could be um uh, like what looks it's like not. a low energy sort of screwing bulb. Um, a plug socket, light switch, isn't it? and anything like that. Extension yeah. lead, sort of um, box, isn't it? Are you aware that, it was, uh, that he was being bugged? No, because I thought they'd all been taken out when they took us for a meal for us. So they did mention that they'd bugged you? <coughs> I knew they bugged us, yeah, because I knew you were coming and I didn't have any choice or what. And what did they tell you that the reason that they was put in there and first of all first of all who who put the bugs in there and and secondly what reason did they tell you they was putting I them well I being if I, I'm being honest being I think I phoned because I didn't want to do anything behind their back so I who, who them, who's they um, Nathan and the police you know right right yeah just um, clear that yeah yeah um, um, the, well the the, the the pe the squad, you know, the child sex squad, the um This is Nathan and Nathan and that lot. And and I didn't want to You just felt you just I felt just felt obliged, obliged, didn't obliged you? to do it because do. I thought I'd better telling him beforehand that I'm going to do a do a couple of interviews and stuff and and yeah. what, what did they say to you when you said you wanted to talk about it? Was they okay with it? No, this is pull it off and we'll come down and see you. I didn't know they'd be down. We were like the next day they were down. That's so. <laughs> right. Did you feel pressured by him at any point, Andrew? Like, did you feel pressured that? I feel like you didn't have a choice. Yeah. Just let it do it. No, there was no choice. They pull it like it is choice, but they ain't choice because if I do it, you do it our way, or you're on your, or we'll leave you on your own. And obviously, that's that's a terrifying. So, so you're on your own. Left. So at the you're minute you you sort of sort feel of. like they've you're under the impression that they're trying to protect you, but yeah, at the same time they're, bug, they're bugging your ass. So obviously well, that's that's, to, that's so that to protect me in interview and. Interview from who? They says when you interviewed, if we protect you, then we can say in the court, with the court thing, that actually we had it, we had it covered and stuff and knew about it, so then it can't be squashed out of a court case. Right, would there be a court case, Andrew? Do you know? Not about the interviews, no, about there possibly will be court cases, about there should be court cases. Because it's already been. And how many hours did you say long. that you you had been interviewed by the Operation Fernbridge? Was it S over seventy hours? Just over seventy hours. And this is Fernbridge, you say. Mm. And and obviously, also you've gone to see that we've just recently found out that you see Sydney Cook, and you went to the you went to the prison to see him. What prison was it that that you actually went know. to? You don't know what prison it was. But you, but you saw him. Was it? Is this the one in Isle of Man? Um, I'm not sure. The, the two prisons. Uh, but it was one of them prisons. Yeah. Big right. old one. Did you make your own way there? No, no. You can't, you can't just turn up there and go in. So how was your invite to actually go? And well, the invite to just went, just got drive that got rid there and dropped off there. Someone drove you there. Yeah. Who drove you there? I don't have to like, name the person, but I need more police. Please, I'll go well, basically. Yeah, please. Okay. But not a new police on the island. It was the police on the island. It was. Can you can you talk about what the, what the reason was 
that you went to see him about? Because obviously, like some people out there, would be like, well, it sounds like to me someone's guiding him to do something for them. Yeah, I mean, did they give you a specific thing to go to him and talk no, to him about? No, not really. It's I just try to get names out of them. That's all. But did, did they have you wired or anything? They probably would have the, the room what? The room would have been wired, wouldn't the room it? Was <coughs> right, so did you actually manage how long was your interview or how long did you sit there or how long did you visit for? Over three hours, but over well, three hours of things but you've got breaks and stuff to help you and stuff and So what can you remember the main points from the the, the sit yeah. and talk? Because obviously or, that's or where the that's where the that's where it is. This geezer's a a notorious child a procurer, wrong, isn't it? Complete wrong. In our world, like I, you know, what I mean, I don't know the ins and outs of what these people are meant to be in in that world. But to me, it's it's very simple. This is the, she's a real fan. people would turn his lights off, wouldn't they? It real people would finish you, man, yeah. if they knew. If they knew, do you know what I'm saying? But obviously, what I can't get my head around. When, when Savile was allowed, like, yeah. then they were protected because Savile couldn't protect me. He would protect you. He would. Yeah, because like, he, like, he had the. So how deep, how deep does Savile's thing go then, man? Because like, but was he was? Would you say that he was the top number one? No, he's only a small peck. Was he really? But, but he got give it, he looked like he gave it Larry the Large and all that. Was that because he knew he was protected? He was protected because he knew too much. of The old things he had. He seemed to me like he had a lot of trust from people, like in high places. Yeah, like he he was definitely one to keep his mouth shut. But because he, I got the impression that's my feeling. I'm looking at him thinking, you know, he's giving it biggie big ask, bollocks. Ask yourself why any other celebrity desires any celebrity like him? They don't go. They don't all. When you was in charts, they didn't go right in you up to Scotland to the ball or whatever they call it. No. <laughs> what's, so, what's, so special, what's so special about Savile? What's so special about this geezer? What, what, he's, a, he's a fixer, he's an organiser. Has he always been that, even before? Do you want to fix it? Well, yeah, obviously, yeah, do you to fix it? But I'm talking about before that. that. How, how do you get into being that, oh, on the, the name the fixer because, because he was fixer? But it was probably from the entertainment system to be able to do discos for him. Yeah, but you know what I mean? I mean, like, how the fuck did he just get in now? How did he, how, how did he end up there? How did he end up on Radio 1? How did he end up... Peter Stringfellas... Introduce. He used to DJ, and then he used to do the string fellows. String fellows he used to. He used to DJ, and and then he got into radio DJing and stuff like that. And so that just grew from now. He used to grow from the string fellows. open for him. Do you know what done my head in when I heard that Jimmy Savile was the first man to play two records together? Yeah, right. That's what that is. That that's right. <laughs> I can't believe Disco. that. So you can see that, man, the whole DJ world now and nightclubs, mixing, boy bands, music, politics, all of it is it's got pizza It's kinda of dark, it's isn't got, it? It's all dark, mate. It's all dark. It's it's all all of he it. Did, he had two of those, do you know those up really old fashioned you probably seen in a museum where you put the top up. Yeah. You put them together and they bolted them together so there were two turntables. And then the speakers in them, you wired up to so they could go into two separate speakers, if you know what I mean. Did so you have a lot to do with this? Did you have a lot to do Because back then, it was, disc, it was, sorry, it was, <coughs> they became to be called discos because Jimmy Savile would play discs and they would be disc only nights. That goes back, did you ever go to the Walton Hop? Was you ever taken now? Possibly, I don't know for sure. Jonathan King. Oh, yeah. Right, tell, tell me about Jonathan King. Anything you know about Jonathan King? Because I know a couple of things about Jonathan King, but I just, I really do want to see... And on that line, I'm going to mention another name as well. Tom Watkins. Have you heard of I him? I know of Watkins, but... Tom I Watkins. Know of Watkins. Tom Watkins, yeah. He used to do the music well. He used to yeah. manage brass, he used to manage the Pet oh, Shop yeah, Boys. Yeah. Right, Fat Geezer. Do you remember him? Yeah, Fat Shaved Geezer, Geezer. really fat and shed. Yeah, yeah. always wore Really, right. really fat. Yeah. yeah. What, like, what, can, um, what can you tell yeah, me about him? Tell me something about him. That you remember? Yeah. He's, I, he's into girls and boys. Really? Because Tom Tom Watkins used to manage me when I was in E17. 
and um, obviously I, I, all I, I I'd never met a gay person before that. He's more gay, yeah. He's a gay. He's, gay, he's, he's gay, totally he's, gay. I know he's totally gay, but he used to. He used to. He'd get the girls. The girls sing. He'd bring the girls. Well, I'm gonna say bye. He'd bring the girls into. He'd bring the girls. What sort of age? What sort of age were these girls, Andy? Do all the bands. He brought, he, he brought bands people in. Yeah, yeah. No, a lot of managers were like that. I knew I, I knew a couple of managers that were a bit fucking lurchy, like that. you know what I'm saying. They they get these girls. One of them, one manager that I knew, he had a girl as, a, as an old pair, and then she ended up in this group. And that, so it does. Come, always, it does come back always, I'm, I'm not saying the fuck the girls will come with. It's just showing it going in that a nightclub. To make the world think. So what? What? It's Tom Watkins. It, uh, Tom Watkins. To, tell me. Tell me about Tom Watkins first. Anything that you know about him? Because obviously, for Any me, parties that you could have been at. Anything. Yeah. Anything. Anything. Quite a few parties. It's drink fellows. What? Tom Watkins. Yeah. Quite a and few parties. And a million parties. percent, you know that this was. I know for Pet one Shop Boys manager. Yeah, because um, it was. I know. Boy George. He was really talented. Boy George. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all around that same time. Yeah, what but about, talking about record companies? Was he diff- signed up with a different company? Who? Tom, Tom George. Uh, boy yeah, George. but they still talk to each other. Yeah, it's different. Have you seen uh, Tom Watkins? Have you seen Tom Watkins with Jonathan King? Yeah. You have. You seen them together? Yeah, I've seen them together. Were, they pal- were they pally? They yeah, they're very good friends. Then see, that was my impression. That's what I understood because when I was in E17, I remember being in the office, and Tom, uh, it was the day after Jonathan King had been arrested. Tom Watkins, <clears throat> I remember being in the office in there one day. I was having a like meeting, like as, as we normally did. Um, I'm fully aware this geezer's gay, but now I'm under the impression once I've met him, oh, he's all right. I've never met a gay person before. You know what I mean? I was 17, and um, you're talking about Tom Watkins, yeah. Tom Watkins, yeah. Right. So um, basically, I come away with the impression that oh, he's all right. You know what I mean? But I knew there was something wrong as the years went on. So I'm in the office one day, and uh, and Jonathan King had been arrested the day before. What for? For the paedophilia thing it was in the 90s when it right, proper yeah. went through yeah and um, I said to Tom oh your mate got arrested yesterday didn't he he said like, paedophilia or something thinking I, I don't really know too much about it all you know what I mean even that that sort of fucking world existed man if I'm being honest right <coughs> sorry and uh, I said to him, yeah, your mate, your mate got arrested. He went, oh, no, Jonathan's not a paedophile. And he didn't sort of stand still and tell me, he just sort of walked through and that. And I thought, oh, well, I'll leave it then. Maybe he's not. That's how fucking stupid you are, you know what I mean? That's how I come away so thinking. You, so you didn't really understand what was going on? No, I was new to me. I was 17. I've never been abused, right? I, I'll say that now. I believe I've been abused by the media because they have absolutely fucked me. Do you know what I'm saying? They really fucked me. And John Major was at the centre of that fucking because I said something stupidly about ecstasy when I was young. I was about 23, something like that. And uh, it's a phase that you go through, mm. yeah? Just a phase that you go through. Everyone else around you is doing things. Sometimes you get roped in, you experiment with age, and you do things. And I am naively thinking, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter what you say in the world. Just do, but I think, but I think I'll... All young kids have done experimental drugs, especially when it's there and it's free in the music industry, it's free. It just goes it's with just that there, territory. You go to not, party, it's there. Not that we're, like, I, I wouldn't encourage it now. It, what, I, you know, listen, I hold my hands up. Like, young, I hold my hands up, really? mate. I was, you know, the, the last thing on my mind at that time was worrying about if people knew I did a pill or not. I obviously knew that it, it wasn't favoured by everyone. Do you know what I mean? But I had no way of knowing that uh, doing a, a short interview at the to- at top of the pops, and that interview wasn't meant for me. It was meant for another member in my band, and uh, who originally spoke about ecstasy. And then after that, I had a meeting with Tom Watkins. Told him exactly what I think of him. Fuck you, I ain't signing with you again. Once he knew that, he was on the hunt to put a new singer in the band. I know because a month before I was sacked, he was asking certain agents, have you got any singers? Because I don't know if Brian's going to be about much longer. They set me up. And, I've, and I'm have i wondering if you've seen Tom Watkins 
at the same party as John Major? Yeah. You have? Definitely. Can 100%. you can you where where was that? Young day, the young John Major it was a long time ago. Yeah. Um, was it was it was what, it before he was in power? Or why is it why John Major was in power? It's when he was like learn, like Larry Young. I don't know if he was <coughs> in power then. So <coughs> we're talking, but like I'm going back to sort of ninety seven. But he wasn't. He was talking like right. Young. He wasn't. He wasn't prime minister. No, at that point. he was prime minister before John Major. He was in fact just, just after Thatcher. Thatcher, and then before that was it Ted Heath before that? Did, yeah, I think. Right. So. So you've definitely seen Tom Watkins. At a party. I've seen them all at a party together. Have yeah. you seen them all together? I've seen them all together. Well, Jonathan at King, Tom Watkins, John Major. Yeah? We was at a singers that went, I've seen them at a, when, I don't, the police will tell me whose house I were at and I used to cry in my house at a party that I went to, just out, like, out in the countryside, you know, the area, you go out of London, I didn't like, come under London. There's like a village. What do you come out of London? Well, there's you go past like a tip or something or a big hill, and then right. So you can guess how you remember and it's, it. And it's weird. And it's can like, you remember the name of it? If, we, if I mention a few names, I'll I'll just just in London. Man. Was it Essex and Chigwell, uh, Woodford? Did you ever go? Well, like like did yeah. you ever go? Country, did you ever go to country. Maida Vale, Andy? Right. Did you go to Maida yeah. Vale, <coughs> Little Venice? Yeah. Did you go there? Was there a big party in a house next to a church? Great big house, swimming pool, indoor swimming pool, what outdoor swimming pool. Swimming pool, but downstairs in a basement. basement was, there Mouse, was. was there Mickey Mouse? Was there Mickey Mouse been running through that house? Oh, I know exactly. Shake my hand. <laughs> this big house you went to, and there was a tennis court there. Was it just the one tennis court? Two you tennis you courts. Two tennis courts. Was there an outdoor pool just yeah, outside out the front of the house? Yeah, great big outdoor pool. There was an indoor pool as well. Yeah, two pools. I don't know. If it might have been a shaku. It might have been. A, a, it might have been spa a shaku right. spa thing. Yeah. In the house, it might have been a in spa house. thing. See, in <coughs> Maida Valley, you would have said you see you see the Mickey Mouse thing, yeah. Bath in the floor on the middle level where the bedroom was, where the clothes were. Oh, do you know what I'm talking about? Mm. What? No, I, yeah, I know where you're going. Yeah, I know where you're going. I know where you're going. But I'm, I'm, I'm on this. Uh, ma marble floors, is marble floors. I remember them like marble. But yeah. I don't know if false marble or little marble. Probably. Can you remember marble. any pictures that are hanging up? Pool. Yeah. Can you remember can you any pictures? pictures? What? What some pictures were in a room that were hanging up on the top level floor. There was a shower up there with a sort of glass door on it. One of them sort of mosaic -y, off shape sort of floors. Scott, is, he had a lot of pictures around, you know. He had yeah. got a good taste in that. Can you, know, can you remember? Really expensive art. I can't tell you yes. what the artist it yeah, was. No, no, but you you yeah, no, but he was expensive art. What was the pictures of? All sorts of things. Happy New Year. Like uh, pictures of animals, people. No, there's art. It's, you know, like art. Like, yeah. Like... It's just this mixture of, it's just sort of like, he's got themes in different floors, like of art, and he collects art, so he's got like different tastes of art, probably for different times, but it's all really, really expensive art, top notch art, you have to pay yeah. thousands and thousands. Yeah, we're, you know, we're talking we're about things. the same person, aren't we? Talking about, you know, we're talking about the same person. Right, so, his best mate now, Jonathan, Jonathan King. King. I emailed Can him. You, I emailed him right about two or three months ago, and asked him what he knew about his mate Tom Watkins. Jonathan King came back to me because I got his email off of someone, right? Jonathan King came back to me and said, "What? What? What would you like to know about Tom? I didn't really know him on a personal level." Went to the house once to, to, to have some music played to me because he used to do a tip sheet or something, didn't he, online? Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and he spoke about one other person that was in a, a, a label that I was signed to when we first started, and that was London Records. Have you heard of a name called Roger Ames? Mm. Glasses, kind yeah, of Yeah, yeah, I know Roger. Yeah. With glasses, but I don't I recognise, I'm not, can't remember the surname, but he probably is. Colin he worked, Bell. He worked in records. Colin he, Bell, uh, Irish geezer. Sounds yeah, a, yeah, sounds, yeah, sounds a little yeah. bit like Graham Norton. Yeah, yeah. Colin yeah. Bell? Mm. 
Tracy Bennett. Mm. Don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Sure, I couldn't swear. Um, just need to throw some names at you, really, just to sort of. Cause they were so I have had photographs, and then, I know mean, you haven't got photographs, and I've no better than names and more better photos of names. Yeah, but the Tom Watkins one definitely. Definitely, we're, we're Tom talking Watkins, about, yeah? yeah. You know what I'm talking about, the mm. Pet Shop Boys ex manager, mm. managed Bross, managed us. Uh, I think you might have Liza Minnelli, I, might, I think I've heard her name get chucked about a few times. Simon yeah. Cowell. Cowell. Yeah. Simon Cowell, talk to me about Cowell, man. Simon Cow. Now, we know, we just us putting two and two together, right? I know someone in the 80s, I know a group that was signed to him, right? Now, I ain't got a problem with gay people, right? I haven't, right? But Simon Cow is blatantly a gay man trying to play it off to the public like he's straight. I'm not having it, and neither are the rest of the public. They're not having it. He's going out of his way to try and show us that he's a straight man. He's not a straight. He's bisexual. Oh, he is, but so he does. He does do women as well. But he's been married, don't he? So he must be bisexual. Yeah, that but we, we, we always think things like that's just a front and that people do do it, don't they? Mm -hmm. Ah, I've got one for you, Stringfellow. Stringfellow's Brian Tilsley from Coronation Street, Curly Hair Geezer. Started adjusting the lights in there. Do you know? Yeah. Him? Nonce. Yeah. Say no more. You ain't got to go into detail. Your words, get, your, word is, your word is good That's enough. That's why he's been hanging around now. I remember seeing him there all the time. I remember seeing him in now, right, because... But is that what he's doing now? Do you know... Uh, do you know that? Is that what he's doing now, changing? No, mate? this was back then, no, mate. When, 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 because my, my, I know a guy, right, our backing <clears> vocalist, his name's T Green. Have you ever heard of that name? T Green. Might have done, but I can't remember. I mean, no. I opened up, man, because I thought this geezer was all right. And I'm still giving the benefit of that, man. I'm not going to, you know, but he introduced me to Peter Stringfeller, which is how I ended up going up there with my mates all in tracksuits, taking the piss, sitting on Peter's table, he's giving you notes and oh, all that. Oh, free champagne. And all that free, free champagne. champagne. I'd, go up there, I'd go up there with my friends. I'm like 19, 20. We're all up there in tracksuits and caps and trainers, and he's having it. So obviously we're having a laugh up there. We took the piss, really. Uh, no, 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 I'm being straight with you. I wouldn't fucking do that, mate. We're talking. I am recording, but, mate, you're telling me some stuff about some people that I want to fucking bring down, Andy. Mate, you, you really are. And these people ain't going to fucking touch you. I'll fucking make sure of that. I'll keep walking, I'm pouring. Now, Andy, so these people, were they the same sort of faces at these parties you'd go to? Would it be the same kind of crowd? Some of the parties, some of the different times, you know, like, there's only, most of the big parties, there's only some a bit of, like, people in the music industry and stuff there, because several, Person you've just said is, is good. The good friends with Savile as well. Tom Watkins. Yeah. What well, really? Of course it would be, wouldn't it? Back in music industry, don't forget Savile, the music decks and everything. Of course, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, in my head, in my head, I would think. Back yeah, at the yeah, definitely. Falling but out like it would, in life, but it would have just been. Good. It would have just been a. I've got no proof of it, but it seems feasible. But you're telling me, yeah, definitely. So I'm just interested again. You know that point you said that you felt protected while Jimmy Savile was alive. I mean, how did you feel protected? Uh, Savile, because... I mean, did you uh, have a phone number of, that you could phone him and say, I mean, I'm No, it's just that, like, it's just like, it, it, uh, if he'd, it blocked you out from my back a bit because... You played the game? Yeah, it's just... It must be fucking hard, man. It really must be hard. All that time, I bet what sort of, I just want to like just come come away from that no, just for one second, but I just bring you up to sort of now. How do you feel in your head every single I day? I feel awful and everything, every day and that. Make me understand, but, I want to understand. I mean from the time you wake up, when, when, you're, you're, you're now, if I, if How I feel now is different to how I felt when I was a kid, when I was taken in, when I was there, when I was at that thing. It felt actually great having whatever you want, you need a new pair of shoes, you've got them, you want very rarely put money in your pocket. Like only if you got They're more sort of gifts for the for the occasion. Yeah, but you'd be expensive with restaurants, expensive food. How and old how old are you at this point? Oh, about twelve onwards. So these are these people they're, they're taking you restaurants, they're buying you stuff. Uh, anything you wanted, and if you wanted drugs and all that, and in and in return, these people wanted 
sex, basically. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's two ways you give a little and you take it back. It's probably like some musicians, some idiot musician. I call them idiots because of, but the if you, I'm not saying your mates are idiots or not. I'm saying if they fall, they fall for an ant. That if they start sleeping with the producers and stuff, mm. they're being abused by them themselves. And you know, like, there's a lot of people small. in the in music industry being abused. I've seen it. Can you, can you tell us some of the people to, that we know? Because that's what I, I just want to get. Where would you spend the night? Where would you spend the night? We wouldn't be with these people constant, would you? Where would you would you have a home Jim to go Phillips to? Jim has got rooms upstairs. So you spend no, days there? No, I never lived at all. I never have spent days with... I never where would you sleep in? Boarding school. That is weekends and go what out. What boarding school week. would that be? Right, so you'd be... In a boarding school, what weekend would there? come, what, Savile would come? No, 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 they, or... there'd be a car, as soon as we got off thing, there'd be a car to pick us up, you couldn't get away from them then. How did you feel at, at the time, around. when you was a kid at the time, and this car, and this car, you knew this car was coming to pick you up and take you off, honestly, inside, how did you feel and how did you sort of look at it? I had nothing and then I had something and I was in, I was going to, I was going to go back to school with a five pound note. Where they'd be 50 pence and stuff, you know, five pounds was a hell of a lot of money back then. Of course it was. No, yeah, I you're couldn't. talking what you're talking 80s, and you mm -hmm. 80s, 1980s. Before 80s were some fucking dark 84. years, mate. 84? Yeah. Fucking hell. That's what I think. I moved into my house that I'm in now mm. at that fucking year, I think. Um. Yeah, go on. You was gonna uh, just before that. You was gonna tell me about the feelings. No, the people, the, pe the fucking, right. the people. He said that like some of the we people that this, this, being abused. Going about this big, big out uh, when the, when we was at this big house and everything of all the art and everything and the sunken bath, bath on and, the middle and floor. And he's got a bar in his bedroom. house. He's got a bar in his house as well. It's a, bar. a little bar, like a small thing in the corner. I don't know if it was made into a bar. It might be a. There may have been, there may have been. Just a round little, really small one, it was like a little, one of these. Corner ones. Corner ones, you know, like, it was fashioned back then. Would you remember where the kitchen was? No. I, I should do, but I just can't remember. Sort of, um, if I jog your it memory. Was like a bit you know, when you get up the top of the stairs, when you come in the front door, was there a big, long fucking coat rail with a load of hats on it? Yeah. A load of caps. Loads of them. All the way, and a glass brick wall on the left. Yeah. Before you walked into the living room. I was going to say right hand, thought was, I could, when you said things, but now you said left hand, so you've answered it right. Yeah. But I was going to say Up the top right. of the stairs, so kitchen, the side kitchen side was in right. front of you. Yeah, there was. Turn that way, go up to the I didn't kitchen, but. A bedroom that way, and you can walk round the bedroom, round to here, and that's where the sunken yeah. bath was in the floor, mm. yeah? In the wardrobe area. Mm. Yeah? Like a big bungalow. Can you take over from there for, for yeah. a bit? Yeah. So you had the, the, the sunken bath, and then what else can you remember? People going out the sunken bath, it's a big sunken bath. And then people going in out the swimming pool in his garden, because the big doors are open up yep. because of the swimming pool. And then the bench at the end, just yeah, in the end of the yeah. there. And so they were some up, bit, some bit down the other end. I mean, it could have been a table like this, he'd put into a bar. I remember a bar, yeah. you know, full of beer. And it yeah, could have, yes. No, yes, I, as you come down the stairs in yeah, front of you on the corner. I went by the bar. I went by the bar. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mate, you're fucking finished. And you are finished. And what, what else do you mean? Coming for you, Was there bedrooms upstairs then from, from that level? There's not really much upstairs because it's not an upstairs. It's more like a bungalow. It's like, see, there's an upstairs. There's another level as there's well, isn't there? upstairs, but, but it's not a house. It's a house, but it's a great big... It's like American type house if you like all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it was a, it was a, it was quite like a quite a, it was a, it was a maybe like a, it more like a, it was Australia. Did we go to yeah, Spain? It it's not like a typical. A, it's not a typical no, it's, normal London. No, it's uh, East normal London house. house. It's not like fucking massive. What, it is. what I'm living in. It's you've massive. got three levels. You've got the well, the level you go in on, <coughs> the next level, the one up the top. I don't know if he had studio equipment up there no, or there was a bedroom know. up there and there's a little bathroom. Yeah, there's a couple more bedrooms upstairs for guests and stuff. One, I think there was well, it was one, but and yeah, you came up into a room, didn't you? There's them tennis. Yeah, yeah no, I just I know I know he knows, he's already said enough. And there's a place in guard somewhere, there's a guard, if you go into garden there's a little annex somewhere where people can stay. 
where you used to put bands up in like a gal like a conversion type. Like a granny annex sort of thing. It was only small, really small. There were only a couple of beds oh, in there. Man. I remember the end of the swimming pool and the double doors and as you went out there I can't really fucking remember too much. I thought there was the steps. The steps go, that go up to where the office to bit. the office is. But we saw by the garages it's like he made some bedrooms off one of the garages. Oh, did he? Well, what year was that be, roughly? Well, it might not be in a bedroom, it might be a bed in it. <laughs> you know, no, but, but when, when are you talking this was though? When was this? This was, it was this 80s? Oh, it's yeah. got to be before me. Was it before, before Bros? Yeah, was it before, before, before Bros? Before Bros. So you're yeah. talking sort of... It's when, um, it was when the boy George first started coming out and singing his songs. Well, Carmen Chameleon you times. Know, like, like, oh, like, so you're right. talking about 1983. About the same year Tony Blair was arrested under the name Charles Linton. <laughs> yeah, Bow Street's Magistrate Court. £500, Charles Linton didn't have to come to court. But you've been Prime Minister and you... It might have changed a bit when you went, but I, I, I think I've got most of what... Yeah, strength. yeah, no, you have, you have, I know, obviously, I've, I've spoken a lot, but I can, I, mate, I believe that. So what was Tommy new boys, obviously? Boys, well, you said boys and girls, but did you, have you seen him with underage boys? You film... Mm -hmm. Boys and girls, but... It, but would what, would he, what would he? What would he? What would Tom Watkins' usual routine do with whoever he was manipulating? What What would go down? And and what other people would be about? This is it. This to me, Andy. This is important to me. Do you want me to that particular part? If it's like the the thing you say, with, you know, with the sunken that part. One of been to about three parties there, and each time been to those parties there. And everything I was just bought as a guest. You yeah. know, I want it was you take the to took guests and I was like went as a guest and Who took you? Different people. But I it was an MP in um, London but can't remember his name. What in, in Tom's house, yeah? You had an MP in there. Yeah. So I'm saying, see that makes sense. Nah, to but me. It gets worse than that. Well I'm you've like... already told me that you've seen Tom Watkins with John Major. <coughs> Yeah, Don't because it's funny to me. Oh, right. You're a pretty boy, and and he drugs you up. And then hey, I, need get that. I need to yeah. get I need to get that handy. I've got mate. You can't say that. Yeah, I'm not up right. getting fucked because it's my word against his, isn't it? Yeah, but I believe you, and because this geezer's clearly fucked up, you know what I mean. I don't see. Does him. he ever abuse you, Andrew? I've had sex there with him, yeah, but what with Tom? Yeah, I've had it with a few of the. I joined him with a few of the acts of there and stuff. But the thing is. Like, say, like it? this, like, the beer, like, Ray, Raymond used to be in the drugs and he used to supply a lot of the drugs through, 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 um, so was Richard Branson, his mum, not Branson, um, Shrimp a lot of his money came out of drugs to get him going. Yeah, I've heard that. And, and so, Graham as well was, um, and, thing is that like Raymond, so I knew people as well from Raymond and stuff like, so I could get to that effect. Tom used to drive up the drinks, yeah? Tom used to he drive up the drinks. He used to get people there when they were new bands, but it's a really young band. So it's like you're really new. Yeah. You're really, really young. Let me, ask, really you, young let me, let me ask you a question, right? Why do you think I asked? I, I said to you. Really do like you know that. anyone that I might know who's been at these parties? Possibly. I.e. band members. Possibly. Have you ever seen a member of E17 at one of these sex parties? I.e. It would have been like 92. No, from... 91. From, from, from yeah. about 1990, 91 onwards. Well, yeah. If, 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 to, be honest, to be honest. Yeah, be honest. I want to know. Go on. I can't remember the name, but I know they said they were out of your mouth. You're a skinny guy, slim, skinny guy, blondish, sort of dark shit. Was it Tony Mortimer? Yeah, probably. He was um, really cute, you know, like, really, you looked young in the face and quite, quite short. Quite fit, quite short. Well, not short, but... Thin. Thin. That's what I meant by short, sorry. Mm -hmm. Grab my phone. Can you? Have we got a picture on there? No, I'm going to see if I can get the internet. From wireless here. 
Fuck it. No way, there. Up there, bottom top shelf, oh, mate. Where, where, where? There, see it there? That oh, one? Yeah. Andy, fucking hell, mate. You've been, For real. You've been well, basically, you used to go to the Because the there's also. been some shit going on in the... I need to come round there. There's been some fucking shit going on here for years, right? That ain't made any fucking sense to me. I get sacked. Do you know what I mean? I ain't gay. I've come along. I feel like maybe I've come in and I've taken over a little bit. And I haven't had to do any of these things to get a record deal. Let me come round there. Mick, where's the fags, man? Over there, Right, bro. I'm starting... I'm starting... Nail on the end, and I, I need to know... For real, Andy, yeah? All bull, no I'm bullshit. Not bullshit. I'm fucking, I'm I believe you, man. I believe you. How can I subscribe the same place as you and say things about the same... I said about the bar, and you had to think, and then you thought, yeah, and I told you, where to where it was. Where, and you said, and it, it dropped into you straight away. That I just felt, listen, man, some fucking... Right on the art, you didn't tell me what sort of... That it was into really, like, his art and different... Look. Yeah, no, you've got. I, listen, I believe you. I believe Andy. I believe you, mate. I, I believe no, you. You're saying like I kept out of the sex thing and thing. I believe you. Yeah, yeah. No, Cause no. You want, Cause you want. You might not have known. Mate, because but it, something that was, was going, nothing to them. Something was, was still, going on. You, you something was going on. on. He wouldn't fucking leave that management, right? He wouldn't leave that management. And I'm like, listen, if this gives you such a problem, we're coming to the end of the management contract. Let's fucking go somewhere else. Because this geezer wants it his way all the time. I want to sing R&B. He wants you to write all the songs all the time. Which means the other two are standing in the back fucking frying shapes. But we got, I got them singing. We was actually going out doing all right after he fucked off. And um, it just makes so much sense to me, Andy. He was in with Tom. He knew Tom long before I knew fucking Tom. He brought me in. Do you go to any parties at his place? I've been to a party at his place, but I've never seen anything like that. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what did happen. I took it as a joke. Yeah, I took uh, Reese, probably Jeff, Lamy, all them lot. We went down there. Said, "Look, Tom's having a Christmas party and now. Drop this fucking Mickey Mouse off and that. We can all go in there and all laugh at him and that. And then we can fuck off." I said, "He's all right, actually. That's that's my fucking naive mindset, right?" So we're all there. Tom came up to me one day. He went. Oh, one of my mates would pay good money for your mate Reese over there, and I took it like it was Did a joke. Think? I said it to Reese. Reese went, "Ha ha ha!" We laughed, skinned up, and forgot about it. Yeah. Why? It was a night though, when we went to a fucking party at Tom's, right? Same sort of thing. All fucking drag queens walking about in the mm, house. Like, Hello, yeah. Brian. Why don't you talk to us? I'm just like, mate, are you for real? Sorry, but I've never seen it before. Are you fucking for real? I'll be polite because I don't. Well, I'm not an honourable person. I don't really want to hurt anyone's feelings. You know what I mean? Mm. Anyway, end of the night came. Richard Stannard, Biff. Did you Richard Stanford? Oh, not Stanford. Stannard, Biff, oh, producer Biff. Spice Girls. Yeah. Yeah. What is he one and all? Because he was Tom's boyfriend when yeah. when we first signed to Tom. He left, but I I actually thought, please, is Richard? Is, does he? He's, is it a gay? Is it a gay? Is it a gay thing, right? Where the boy thing comes into it, and they don't see that they're doing anything wrong, because it's okay to be gay. But what is the you fucking? In the olden days, in the really olden days, you couldn't be gay till you're twenty-one. But before then, you couldn't be gay. Now, when they were kids, you couldn't be gay at all. <clears throat> so you had to hide it. And then, but the, I can't get made around. They say that it's not acceptable in the gay. In, one part you want acceptable in the music industry. Mm. These when are the blatantly, people who are all gay themselves. Well, that was all going on straight, wasn't they? Yeah. They was all trying to go on straight. Fucking Simon Cowell still trying to do it. Yeah. Right, so tell me what you know about Tony Mortimer. I need to yeah, straight. Yeah, but you've, I can't, you I can't. You realise that a lot of musicians of at one point, musicians come out gay and said they were gay. It lose a lot of, could lose a lot of fans. But yeah, that's what it was about back then. That's why, you know, Brass yeah, and the rest of it. And now they stay, they need the gay, the gay pounds. But so they tell you to act gay. If we're all being straight and honest here, yeah, the gay, the gays, they run, the they run everything. They run everything. Just and, back to that and, and I'm just going right. to say one thing, because it is very similar. It's like... You know, like where where the Jews have made it, you mustn't say anything, and then you're you're an you anti, anti semite what, what you see, you, you keep there, and you don't. It's the same. It's the, it's the same sort of thing they've built up. You, you, must, you mustn't yourself. say nothing. Mm -hmm. But mate, I live in the fucking real world where I'm going to die one day, and if I don't say what I fucking mean now, what's been the point of it all? Yeah. To protect people, I've got to protect you, right? 
Yeah. I've got to hold your secret. I've got to hold your fucking secret. Yeah. That ain't fucking fair. So you know? What, what, let's get back there. Back to Tony Morgan. I've, I've seen straight some some. I've seen band members who are who are straight, generally straight, mm. and I've seen them being fucked. What? So they've been fucking manipulated because because of, they've had a few drinks and they've been spiked. They've fallen out of sleep, and they just thought they were pissed out of the head and everything. Tony so been Tony kid giving me a story that he he. He ran out of Tom's one day. Woke up and he and he and he he had no trainers on. What would be the reason for that? And to walk home been from fucked. from Ledbrook Grove. And do you think he'd been he'd have woke up in the middle of the night after being drugged, been fucked, thought fuck my trainers, I'm out of here. You don't think think you might think. Oh, I must have had a dodgy kitty last night. You might just think you've got oh you got the shits something because something you've eaten. Or woke up you fucking mm-hmm. arse hurting. Yeah, but you might put it down to yeah the. the to use a lot of cream, so you might not say you have a you just have a niche. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just put it down to Kimmy. Let's, let's get back to let's get back to nitty gritty now. Yeah. Five right now. Oh, all jokes right now. Yeah, yeah. Where did Tony Mortimer come into play in your visual? You Tell us, give us something, man. I need to. I just need to fucking know, Andy. Put me out of my misery, man. Please. <laughs> Tell me the worst thing this fucking geezer's done, please. Is Drugged, drugged, straight, blatantly straight. He sold them as well, not just drugged them. Peter, he's he's made money out of his own. To get money back, he's made money. So like you, I fancy say I'm not. I don't say I I don't fancy. Yeah, yeah, no, no. If I fancied you, like fuck, when you back then, they had money. Yeah. And I could go to one of his parties, and I could pay to be at that party. Yeah. And I'd get and then he could and drug, he could drug me, they drug you up, and, and then I'd, I'd, be, I'd be getting yeah, fucked. And you could be getting, and that's what happened in real. That's what what happened in real. Life. That's that's what's happened to him. Are you saying? Is that what's happened no, to him? Because I, I, don't think, I don't think I don't think he's gay. No, no, the he ain't a gay bloke, man. No, no, he's just, I'm not. I'm not. He ain't, don't a, don't he ain't a gay bloke, man. I think he. he don't, why do you think? Don't, why do you think the uh, you you they dress you up gay, they make you act gay on stage. I know it's all on that. Well, they it's made the them that game. The thing we was marketed as like the complete opposite. We smoked fags, we got birds. They went for a complete East End fucking rough. You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah, I do know what you mean. Well, it, it, I'll tell you what's clear to me. The fact that there's always been a boy band out there. And you haven't really had a, 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 a long period of time uh, yeah, where the, there hasn't been a thing filling that gap. All right, don't girl bands forget, came back, later. Back girl bands came later to put the thing off. Why is it on with guy, guy bands? Yeah. So they had to put a couple of girl bands on. But when you but think of Louis Walsh, very few. Louis Walsh, anything on him? Done anything with him? Has he done anything? He's been to parties, but um, he's a couple been of a, parties. He's been to parties. I mean, but all his parties on, boy. Was there sex involved in every one of his parties, or was it sometimes oh, social? Sex, I always ends up in sex of some kind. Drug, it's drugs, oh, in it, drugs, beer, and you, you get rammed in, and you, you have sex. And if you, if somebody like me. If, if if I was you pass the bar, I would pass the bar. But I had sex with um, celebrities and stuff like that, and it's it's a big. Did you thing, have sex with Tony Mortimer? Possibly, but I'm not going to say I had sex with a straight guy. I'm but no, but <laughs> we we don't understand know what he's about. We don't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. I don't understand. Him, man. I just, it could be both ways. Brian saying. You don't think... I don't think he is, but, but I don't know whether but, something's taken place for him because, listen, I remember Tony's brother, right, committed suicide, right, long before. It's what the song Stay Another Day was about, right? And I don't know whether... Sometimes, sometimes you realise that you're being fucked by him, let alone someone find out they're being fucked by him because they see something and then... And, and if it, God, that's the same lines, you know, later on, that... And there's been a, quite a few people commit suicide because they can't they go down into depression and stuff. And I've seen it because it happened. I've been there, man. Days. I've never been and fucked up the arse, but I've been. But you won't know. That's depressed. what I'm saying. You probably won't know. No, I would know, man. I would know. I would know. I would know. I've never. But I would never go and fucking just stay. Tony stayed at Tom's when we all left. That's what I was getting to. At the, so when I was talking about one of the parties. He, I mean, we up to, Tony, come on, man, we're fucked, man, we're going. John's driving, I'm pissed off, we're up in the back of the car that time. That's why I remember I got out outside my house, held my jeans up, my lens out the window going, what are you fucking doing? I'm standing with all sick over my jeans, you know what I mean? So I'll never forget that fucking night. And I remember going, come on, man, we're out of here. And him going, oh, you're all right, I'm going to hang about. And I looked about, 
And I thought, I looked at John, and I can't lie, man. I just thought, oh, yeah. what's going on? What year so, is that, 93? Fucking 94? hell, man, that's got to be around. Your early doors? Yeah, man, that had to be fucking hell, man. Not what would it like, could you see him there? So Find a picture you showed me. Yeah, I've always had, I've had that since so uh, And this is Andy? Four, yeah, since so about, I just woke up one morning. <coughs> you was about four? No, about 11, 12. So everyone would remember that tattoo on you, wouldn't they, Andy? On your right wrist, more or less, isn't well, it? No, not 11, Don't 12, forget, though, yeah. 12, 13. We'll let just a, a little couple of these run. Don't forget he's got to fucking sleep in that, man. He's got to be... No, I'm okay, though. I, I want you to be... Fr oh, no, I know, I, but I want to talk to you. Listen, you know what I'm saying? We'll talk to you all night, but Bill's got to talk to you tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. He's got an agenda that he's after these people. Yeah. We're after them. But Bill, we're behind Bill. He's the one who marches in front. Yeah. Yeah, that's he's a good guy. He's he is a good guy, man. He's fucking. He he's, tells he's you passionate. like he is. He's and I tell you what, you need fucking people like him, Andy. Yeah. You need. Don't, people, I don't you take need... a lot of sleep on him, but an hour, an hour and a half. Is that how it's left you? What? What's how that? Your what, life sleeping been in that? Sleep is it what you can't fucking sleep at night? How's your no, sleep I'll, 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 I can go for days without sleeping. Does it go through your head and torment you? Basically, does it? Is it, is it that bad can or, or, can you, or can you put it away? I can, I can put it away, I was putting it away until I came back. Then it, because you manage, you find a way of coping and then it brought it all back and some of the times I've been able to switch off. Yeah, but other times you'll get emotional and get upset and just think, you know what I mean? Do you know, I've done so many tears and everything. Sometimes I think I haven't got any more tears in there. But it's still there. Anxiety. You must just think back over the fucking life you've had, all the situations that you've been in and they must all feel like massive events, one after the other. One Feels after like the a other. dream, I mean, when you get so hot and so on, they expect you to be one of them. Like, if I was still with them, I'd have been the abuse, I'd have been an abuser now. Yeah. Which you would have been working fucking, for him. You're doing, mate, Andy, listen, man, you, you're doing the you're fucking You've done the best thing, thing ever, was to move away from everything. I couldn't get away right. the property until Raymond died, but... Did he used to take you out to use to be used at any point? Did it then like stood up to him and everything and they washed his hands out of him and they bankrupt him? What, from gear? They bankrupt him and everything and it, it, What was he into to be bankrupt for? Who sorry, who are we talking about? Raymond it, like Raymond like, uh, Andrew's sort of partner, well become his partner, he was abused at start with, wasn't he? He used his little start with. And eventually, he become partners. I got to know like Mark, him. Mark and stuff through through Raymond and stuff, and I got Who? to know Mark from Zodiac Mind Warp and stuff like that. I got to know him through them, through Raymond, and I, I, that's how the doors with music industry opened up through through because I knew him. Never was even I never I'm not a singer. They take the piss out of me. I take the piss out of them sometimes. Fucking mate, they're the ones that should be getting the piss taken out of them. You, they fucking manipulated you from a young age, weird, which yeah. fucking good I'll job. Okay, I'm okay. Good right, job, yeah. good job you got fucking half a strong mind on you, man, because you really could be fucking even more pickled now, wanting to fucking jump off a it's bollocks man, it ain't fucking fair, it ain't fucking right, and it can't fucking go. You got probably abused for the whole lot of the system there by the sound. Mate, he is yeah. a proper a proper fucking victim. I don't mm. think you're gonna get many people coming There was forward. a lot of victims that they don't speak, they don't come out, or they, they kill themselves, they've committed suicide. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I felt like that. But yeah, I've, don't, I've been don't there, do that. Been down don't, there, but Andy, don't there. ever do it, mate. You don't, you don't deserve to die. And any time you feel like you do, know that they're not your fucking thoughts and feelings. And it's, you know what it is? It's the ego coming in fucking with you. Mm. Going, oh no, you fucking dirty, you should feel like this. Fuck the ego off. Get the young because it ain't your fault, and that is the bottom line. That is the fact. Mm. I want to sometimes sm just get up and smash the heads in. Yeah. You know, keep the heads in. If we were in America, America, if it was in America, I'd, I think I'd have got a gun. And You'd have got a gun and, and just gone on a fucking rampage, yeah. But you ain't. You're still in control of your life because if you do that, you will end up fucking throwing it away. You do know that, don't you? No, yeah, but I'm not do that anyway. I've got a gun to start with. Yeah, <laughs> mate. You, you, you listen, mate. Your, your gun, your gun, your gun, your gun. Your relationship. Your gun, you're going with now is a legal gun. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And they can't dodge them bullets. 
don't know what they're going to no, do. No, I'm happy with my life. I'm happy. I've got to be careful. I've got... That's what's important, isn't it? That's what's yeah, important. Wait, wait, you want to know... Where's the fucking turn up from? Not one, one two. Look. <laughs> <laughs> they've, they've got him pissed. Look, he's got a tin of... Come on, Come on, Mr. Little... <laughs> yeah, we yeah, we've got him pissed. He's spilling his fucking guts, and uh, it's not like that at all. Bill's gonna do the interview with him tomorrow. I'm just fucking finding out my bits and pieces that I need to know, and I'm genuinely interested in you, Andy, mate. You've seen some things that I will never see in my life. Well, I don't fucking want to, to be honest with you, but I'm interested in the person that you are on the other side of it, and how you are. There's another thing I was gonna ask you. Who used to beat you up? Who used to give you like? Who used to like, I mean, some of them abused you that way, but some of them physically hurt you. Yeah, I've been smacked about and stuff like that, but... What, heavy-handed, or...? I know Cook was a different league to completely, but apart from... I him, only, like, I knew Cook, but only, like, I didn't... He was always OK until that one time when we went to... Like, they don't hate you too much because they don't want to put marks on you. There's no way they want to put marks on you because you're worth nothing to them with your marks. So they want to do it in a way where they're just you know and it's fucking controlling mm. you. Some, some odd people that are there, Cunt. yeah. And if the odd people, somebody really hurt yeah, you, the other guy, the other guys are going on them and everything. You know, they jump on them like a. I was quiet because I was, I was quite protected, Is yeah. Is that because of Jimmy? Partly because of Jimmy. Can't party because of, cause of Raymond and, and drugs and... What was Raymond's surname? If you don't mind no, Book. 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 That's him, isn't it? That one now? Yeah. Yeah. That's him. It's so cleared up so much shit. Yeah, it has cleared up some shit. It's, it's cleared, cleared up, up some fucking stuff in my mind. Stuff, so it? just just give us the lowdown on him and that, what, like what you've seen from him. We know about yeah. Watkins now. He's only young, he's only a kid. Have you seen Jonathan friends. King touch him? Yeah, did Jonathan, was Jonathan King, him. did Jonathan they King touch they were, him? They were, like, they were fucking him, yeah. Who was? Jonathan King's fucked him. As he? And I've who, been and in the shed in the bed with, I've been in the bed with him and Jonathan King. I uh, don't think no. he, he, did, he didn't want that, because he was, if paid, when he woke up in the bed with us all the day, thing, he didn't blame me, but he was playing, El, he was, he was absolutely furious. He was like, really, 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 really. He went into the corner of a room, he picked something up and chucked it across, and they're like, big yeah. a bottle, and he really chucked it like, and then he'd really, because he, he was bollock naked and everything, and the clothes were down there, and he didn't know there was, they used condoms about and stuff, and he'd say, no, he'd been, he knew. He he's just been knew, raped, he just been raped been basically, he'd been drugged and raped. And he got me, he came over, and then he got me up and everything, and he said, he says, the same's happened to you, hasn't it? And I said, yeah, oh, so yeah. So how old, you were a bit older than him, was it? I was a bit older, but he still came over to me and helped, sort of helped me up. But, and then I sort of went out and went out of the room. And, and then we had to calm him down. I calmed him down because he was marking back on the fold. He said, no, well, I can't live like this. He says, oh, the rest of them, they're going to not want to know me, they're not going to want to... No, no really, that's, not, really, um, that's not it, man. Really that's, not, that's, not, that's not how it's going to fucking go down, man. I don't blame him. I've never blamed him. If anything, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have seen the fucking things that I've seen in the world. I wouldn't, the be, sit I wouldn't be sitting here now. And I've always felt, man, if something was... I know him, man. He's not gay. He's not gay. And uh, he's, well, he's going to deny it anyway, but... I know, but this geezer, it's not his fault. It's not his fault. He's a victim. Yeah. That's why I was saying, like, like. Oh, he's so it. much of a victim. I fucking knew he's it. so much of a victim that he's fallen into it. That he's even he in bed with, with uh, Lennon's son. He couldn't help it. He had no choice. Do you know Julian Lennon? Anything on him? No, mm. nothing. I've heard, I've heard rumours, but if you ain't seen nothing, then well, seen listen, nothing on him, I though. can put that out of my head. Yeah. So Tom Watkins basically manipulates people. And if he wants sex with you, he'll have sex with you no matter what. He owns you. When have sex with me, you sign a contract, he, he, he owns you when you sign that contract. He didn't know me. Didn't well, that's like what he thinks he owns you. Yeah, he don't fucking know me, mate. He was a problem to him. I was a problem to him, and that's why I had to oh, go, and that's why you, I never worked you, again after Do you know that these parties and that? I know you know Brian. Was there John and Terry from the other 
two members of the band was there at any parties? They were all there, but I don't, don't, I don't think I would have called you there, so you weren't all there. I wouldn't. I've, the only parties I've been to is if Tom had a Christmas party at his house and we breezed through, but he's always been spared for a few hours, burning food, and I fuck off. And when Tony stayed there, I knew something was wrong. Not all of them. There's another two of them being into a party, but not all, not all of there's, them. There's the other two, so yeah. that one there, that one there, they're not the best of pictures. No. I guarantee you, I, you ain't seen me now. He's been in party. Who has? He's bald head. Mm. He's got a bald head. Mm. And he's got a goatee beard. No, I don't recognise him. You see, John, I mean, how long ago was that? Was that back then? Same time. And what then what, what, what party picture was it? Terry. Can you remember that face? It was a party to celebrate a birthday. Whose birthday? Can't remember whose birthday, but it was a birthday. Do you remember where it was? It was at his house. Tom Watkins' house. Made a vow. With the, under, it was the house, sorry, where the swimming, where the, um, swimming pool in the basement. basement. 15 Mader Avenue, next to the church. Yeah. And Lulu lived next door, on the left. That house, little Venice, little river thing running up the middle of it. Yeah. Quite nice, it's one of It's nice down there. It is fucking nice there. You don't deserve to live there, the cunt. Fuck, man. Fuck, man. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, mate, for fuck's sake. I knew it come. Mate, he's, you, I knew it man, he's fucking Just clear said, things up. I told you, I fucking knew. I said to you, all it is is going to come back round one day and it's going to go boom. E17, Tom Watkins, Tony. So, Jonathan King, would you say, was it fair to say, I'm going to look back, he's going to go, as Jonathan King and Tom Watkins raped Tony Mortimer? Yes. And that's how it started. Well, the, it's great right when they don't consent. And the yeah, he would drugs. never. He wouldn't be consenting. He didn't consent, but he was annoyed about it. He was saying they're going to commit suicide, and that's been down the bed. Do you think that he got caught in his caught in their trap, and he stayed in their trap? They had him under his thing then. Didn't Did they? he they run said, out of the house when you was there? Yeah. Was that when he ran out of the house with yeah. no trainers on? Well, yeah. you was there. Yeah. Ladbroke Grove. Yeah. He ran out with three electric trainers. And, just, and his ma your man manager called him, he says, uh, you know the person who was the manager? Yeah. The person the old house was at, he was calling him a stupid little blah because he'd run out and about his trainers the way he acted and the way he chucked his, because he he's got a nice house and he chucked this bottle, picked this bottle of champ empty bottle of champagne and chucked it and it had broken something inside of Jessing, so inside of bed. This is and it just missed his edge by an inch, and so it would have... Well, was this definitely Tom's house? Yeah. Fuck. Well, it's, where it's, it's not his fault. It's, it's not his fault. It. It's not your fault, Tom. Fuck. But you can't... A straight guy can't say they're being raped. It's too, it's, it's hard for a gay person to say they're being raped. So it's got to be more terrible for something. You can't come out in the world. And I knew something was wrong. Especially though. if you've got, you got family. I don't know if you've got family or I, I don't know what's doing wrong. now. Would Johnny Buckland have known all about it? I don't know what That's why, that's why Tom put on. John on him to keep him. Go on holiday. Went on holiday with him and everything. Keep him, keep him fucking straight. Keep him level, explain things to him. But he went straight then, he went straight for drugs. Because there was loads of drugs still there. Yeah, he was... And straight to drugs and everything like that. I ain't fucking... I see his time giving. Would he remember you if I said, if I, if I bump, if I see... Probably, see he probably wouldn't remember it. We were on in that one night with the sun that once. In that party, you know, and he was out of his head anyway. Because he was still out of his head in the morning. Who was he with that? So he night? might remind me, he may not remember. He wouldn't know me by name. Was that made of Val or, or, or Lebrook Grove, that one? It's with swimming pool, the swimming pool. In the basement, basement. right, it's made of Val. And that was while E17 was out, obviously, yeah? 93, 94. Uh, what, what sort of year? Do you remember roughly? That to have been early 90s. Mm. That's what that made him? He's 45. Fuck knows, man. It's late. I can't do maths now. But if it was too, I don't know. Too early. I mean, it might be. Probably just put myself into prison. <laughs> you go to prison? <laughs> no, I'm over, I'm over 21. If you're over um, 18, you can only. Right, you're 45, Stupid, yeah? Man, you're fucking mad. Yeah. You're 45. I was, I didn't, it, I, it, I, it was... I wasn't 
What's your date of birth? 60? Mm -hmm. 15. What year? 68. I knew it was the same wrong hand, I knew it, mate. I was older. older, a lot older. It was like, I think, I can't remember what age I lost, I can't remember what age I was. There's just little things that remember it's on him. I'm just sticking another battery in, fuck it. Mine. Fuck it. I just, this is just, I'm never going to get evidence like this again. I don't even want to use it against him. I want to fucking help him, man. I want to help him. It's not. I want him and I didn't. I want. I want doing young kids and stuff like that. I can't like, make it because I'm making you 29 years old at that time. Yeah. So Morton no. couldn't have been 29. No, he wouldn't have been. No, he would have been. He you would have been. He would have right? been probably 21, 22 or something, or or, or 20. He might have been 20. I'm sure it's him, I can't do it. Him has been dead about 15 years now, 20 years. Yeah, some time has gone past, man. I've noticed that. I mean, mm. We come out in 1992, and 10 years, we'll say that's 2002, and then 2012, that's 20 years. Nah, when he Do you know what? I want to ask you something, Andy. Have you ever seen this fucking sort of uh. patterning before? There's a few people got patterns like that, they? The actual it? pattern of it, because I see a fucking video, right, um, to do with Satanism, and apparently that fucking V thing and that guy in that way is it's a satanic. It's, it's a satanic. Yeah, the, you've got the A in it. I know, and that the was the guy that done the guy that done the tattoo. He lives in Walthamstow, right? His name's Terry. He done the tattoo. I said to him, I want to get Terry a tattoo on a tribal band. The guy's name's Terry Look, Oldham. he's made sure that he's done that bit and then fucking winged it under there. Under there, just fucking winged it. Just thought, yeah, fucking weird, whatever. As long as I get that bit on. And he was the one who said about, oh, do you want a fucking eye in there or something? And back then, there was no internet. I didn't know nothing about fucking Illuminati or fucking wouldn't have... I didn't know shit, as a matter of fact. All I knew was I wanted to sing R&B. That's all I fucking knew, right? And then he went to me, I'll do up the Eye of Destiny or something, and I thought, oh, go on then, fuck it. Right? And then that's the same person that's gone to me, he's talking to me about the craze. And I went, oh, yeah. I went, oh, you. I went, fuck off, you don't know the craze. And he went, I do. He's got a VO and took me and Tony Mortimer down there. I went down and fucking Reggie Craig's come out. I made the mistake of giving him my phone number. He started fucking ringing me every day. Talking to my nan, hello, he's buying now. Fuck him. What year? Well, you, 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 93, 93. 93. So, 93. So, so 90, yeah, about 90, say 1993, that would average it out. Probably. 93, yeah. Might have been somebody else or something. Sure. What's he got to be now? He's got to be 42, isn't he, or something? Or 40, I mean, probably 42. But you're still the same age as John. Mm. And how old was John then you? They were sort of two, three years, weren't they? It must have been about three years, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, about three years. 1993 or 1998? 93. Right. Well, and so you was born I'm, in. And I'm 20, I'm 45 now. So that you take and so that I'm years of that as um, 23 off of 45 yeah. will leave you 22. So it must have been, I can't have been 22 though, so I, I, I'm confused. What, 19, 19, what year? Yeah, yeah no, I could have been. Yeah, you have to come from, it was because I went back into, because I went back to Raymond, and I was going to parties again, but I was 20. But I was still pissed out of my head, and I was still under them and everything, and I yeah. didn't. So I, I, didn't I didn't have sex with him, because I would have been having sex myself, but... Oh, 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 Tony. Why yeah, did you know, why why you write 40 there for? 45. Who was he having sex with, Tom? No, they had sex with him. They got him drugged up and they had sex with what, him. What, a few people ragged him? Mm. And who were them people? Do it, like, anyone not under They could go in the room and some people go into the room, but... Back then, look... I can't get my name for don't worry, it, it, that, that works out about right. How old are you now? 45. 45. 45, it was 20 fucking 20, 25 years ago, that's about right. 
Twenty what two? That's about right. That's about right. No, well, they've got to be careful, haven't they? Because you, prob- like, you probably was about. You probably was about fucking. I didn't do it. I was a victim. I was there under the victim. Yeah, stuff you was made to do I was, stuff. I was in it. Tw- you weren't there for a choice, years. was you? No, I would, I've been. In, I was in, in it twenty eight. You couldn't be making no decisions when you was eight. When Mortimer, I didn't know any better. Well, exactly. Oh, right. It's not oh, your fault, right. Andy. Don't, when have, don't ever forget was that. Every six. I just thought I'd we're tell a king. It's one of those things I probably want to say. I want to say it to police because. Listen, I you're not a bad bloke. You're not a bad bloke. So you like, asked so enough, I could see you. But the things now in you wouldn't have. Well, for called the elf and now I thought. No, well, you have. You've helped me. You have helped me, Andy, because it's gone from. Hearsay to fucking Facts. someone that was there, you mm. know, and I believe you because fucking Bill believes you, and if he believes you, then I believe you. I went there as a, as a, as a, I was taken to that party. I see, well, you have to be fucking good to fucking make all this up and be and be fucking in it. You know what I'm saying? I have to be careful what I say when they were older, because like, if, I, if I, you can get arrested, even though it's not your fault. Things that you haven't, that could be framed up with. It made you do it. What can you do? No, if you don't about do it, it is. if you say you're not the wrong them. his age, yeah. Yeah, it's not his fault. No, it? but no, don't matter. Well, so so some of you laws have changed, changed the laws and stuff, haven't they? And I know, yeah, yeah I was out of my bed, I was under control. What were you like at that? You know, you know what you're like 22. Yeah, you're still out of your head, aren't you? And it's prime of your life. How old was I? That was around 23, 22. I was doing pills. Because that's when I got sacked. And I remember I went to see Reggie Cray, right? And he sent me a fucking tape. Like, listen, mate, I've never met Reggie Cray before that, right? Nah, I know he's gangster. I know nothing about him, clearly. Nah, nah. Everyone right? thinks, oh, Reggie Cray's crazy, crazy. That's what it was, wasn't it? Yeah. The there was nice people there. You know, Reggie, like, well, when I met Reggie, he was a nice bloke. They're really soft and everything. Some yeah. of you piss them off, they were. <laughs> yeah, obviously, he's, he was <laughs> fucking, he, he was one of the crazy, you know what I'm saying? In fact, the film don't, don't do justice to do with the crazy, in the film The Crazy, I don't think it does justice. Mm. There might be some factual stuff in it, like there was It's nasty, got to be dramatised to sell, isn't it, you know what I mean? Because uh, I know they weren't happy with the way that they portrayed their mum. Yeah, that, yeah you know they what I'm saying? Them. I just want to go back, when Mortimer was being fucked, right, by... Jonathan King. See, I don't, I don't. You was in the same bed as him. Who are the one the foursome? Who's the other person? Fucking Jonathan King, man. Who's the other person? Uh, another person of industry, music industry. You remember who it was, please? Can't remember. Was he a name. senior producer or what, what kind of sort of person was he? Do you remember him singing? He's, no, he, he worked in recording studios. He was in charge of recording studios. What sort of strings can Jonathan King pull? Who does he know? What can he do? Well, he's in, he's in, he's in, uh, he's in, he's in, he's in, he's in, he's in, he's in, he's a mason. Right. That says it all then. Is Tom Watkins a mason? Mm, yeah. I think quite a few of them are because of the money and stuff. And the yeah, we'll get up to that. Mm. That's why. We always said that. That's anyway. why there's we always said signs in that and the videos in that. That's why the symbolism's there. Mm. They like to, they like to, they like they like to, they like to, in, in, in you, in this, them, to put the symbolism in, into your videos and stuff, and like you to have symbolism, <laughs> because it's glorifying them, yeah. you know, you're they glorifying like them, and you're being used in a way. They're so putting, exactly. like, they're putting, Tony was holding a pyramid in the gold video, with the eye on it, sitting there holding it, having gold coins dropped on his head, that satanic reference to Rain Man, He's holding the fucking, the all seeing eye. Who give it to him? Tom Watkins give it to him because they were candles and they was in his new flat. He went, oh yeah, Tom come around and see the new flat and that the other day. I was like, where'd you get these from? He said, yeah, Tom bought them around and left them. Pyramid candle. Next day we're shooting the gold. Well, you know, he's bought it along and he's holding it in the thing. And I, and I know. I've always, I, like, I didn't know till the internet come out till I started seeing, fucking looked on the back of a dollar. I thought, what the fuck's that? What? What's this? Took me into a new world. That's how I got into it. Um, and since then, it's it's gone full circle. I'm looking on a dollar. Now it's gone to Egypt, and all of a sudden, it's all fucking come right back to me. And I'm standing there in pictures, going like that. Right, I I weren't doing that. I was just going because you know, like you're moving about. Yeah, man, do visuals. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And just keep it moving and that for photos. Yeah. 
but I must have been standing there doing all the fucking, yeah, man, you know what I mean? Not knowing. And I fucking swear on my life, may I drop dead now. I had no fucking clue. So when I've sat there, I've took screenshots of every single video, five-pointed star in that. That song's called Let It Rain, reference to Rain Man again. I see the gold video, a soul should never be sold. Everything, that's, a, everything that's to do with the A and up, didn't really like and that. I had one of their biggest a, songs, it's alright, we're on top of a step. It'll be on television, hasn't it? It's a, you know, the kind of brainwash people with those symbols. Yeah. And it's to, it's to do with brainwashing. You don't realise that you're just, a, you're just a key in the clock. You've got a good voice and you're just a... Oh, it's just, just, just a, a product being used. And when yeah. the time's up and they go, it's going to switch you off now, like what they're doing. They, they drop, drop you, when they drop you, they drop you big style. And they leave you fucked. They, they make you feel like the world. Do you Frost Brothers? I've been there, man. They make you feel like the world. That's where I've been for 20 years. Did the Frost Brothers ever get dragged into this? They get. Mm. Are they? Mm. Well, played about. Yeah, I think... One um, of them's gay. One of them's definitely gay. Joanne saw Matt Goss in, in Harrods and he had eyeliner on. If I said yeah, anything, if I said anything about it. I don't know any men that wear eyeliner. Yeah, fucking hell, don't know these men. I'm not fucking about it. I don't know any men. I thought you had eyeliner on. I thought you had it on now. No, man, I don't fucking know. I just got fucking eyelashes, man. Yeah, no, mate, I don't know. Who else? I do eyeliner. They, they, they did do it in a couple of pictures, but it was standard, wasn't it, makeup and that? Yeah, when they started doing the eyeliner, I thought, no, fucking fuck that shit off. It is when you do BBC, isn't it, and that TV. They, they make you they orange, <laughs> and then fucking poof, load of powder over you, and that fucking eye drops and that, and you're sitting there looking like you've been fucking tangoed. <laughs> fucking early Saturday, fucking rehearsing in some fucking dirty cold warehouse. Well, they want you to look after you. They do look after you. They don't look after you when you're in there, yeah. Can I ask you something, right? There was a guy there, his name was Stephen Davis. He was like a half cast, but he had patchy skin. He was like white bit here, and it was like yeah, tan. He looks coat. like he'd been burnt a bit while well, um, well, yeah. Yeah, like his big spots, like yeah. well, dark, yeah. like. It was light, so, yeah, yeah. it was light skin. Yeah, the, yeah, no, it was yeah. white patches all over him. Yeah, like patchwork. Yeah, quite tall sort yeah. of fella, skinny. Look, I, th I thought he might have been a burnt or something. Or... And was he with Mortimer? Did you yeah. see him moving around with Mortimer in the parties? Some, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes not. Sometimes he just be, he talked talk to him a few times. We were there and then parties and not always. You didn't always, they come with, you go come with them, but you didn't always stay with them, if you know what I mean. Mm. Lads, young lads stick to young lads, don't they, and joke and stuff like that. And they asked you that, didn't they? We asked you questions, no, I mean, you're giving us answers. I'm just not having any like conversation, like, mate. You, you can't know really give them answers. I can't believe what I'm hearing, mate. You're filling in the gaps here for me, man. And I've, I've, I'm, I'm fucking interested. I've, I've never been more interested in my life because this is such a missing part, you know, just the confirmation of, yeah, this was going on. I, fu and I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it, man. Fuck's sake. Did it. So they fucked him, they've raped him, basically. That's what they've done. About seven of them. They fucking raped him. Was Fuck Samantha him. Fox ever there? She went to that party, but she didn't get that to many parties. She really got well, she did, did she roll up with Jonathan King? Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes. How old was she when she first started going to the She was only young. Was she, she underage? She was underage. When I first saw her, she was underage, yeah. She did okay though and end up for herself, didn't she? I but think you think that. look at her later on in life, she, she like she had a drink, she got she went a little she got a bit wonky, didn't she? Sort of she looked to me probably like how some people look at me and think, oh, I don't want to work with him, he looks like he's gonna be a bit hard to manage. But she was even further like being pissed up on telly crime. And like, well, look at um, people like Michael Jackson and but changing the skin change your colour. Do you know anything thing? about that's, him? He's fucked up. Uh, Roundy Park, and he did a concert at Roundy Park. Is he a nonce? He's gay, yeah. He's just gay. He's just, was he just gay? Did he like? Did he? Did he, he like children? He liked children. He liked children. It were, well, fucking hell, was it that blatant that he, he would? Twelve. Look, he could call him now. Is that anyway? It's well. But is it? Or do you think? I, I'm no, sure if you look on American websites, it's well called. It's well acknowledged now. Oh, really, Jordy, yeah. you had some gigs were up north somewhere. He would talk, and he was getting him to masturbate on the phone, and you. 
I don't fucking know. It's these it's people. No, it's, it's not the people normal. That run it's it. not normal. It's the people that run it that draw these people in. Michael Jackson wouldn't have been queer. Some he was dancing, singing with his brothers as a group. It's when they took him aside. No, I mean, he may, it, right. it, it may have been, and it, and it may have been an odd thing for him. Yeah, yeah but sex is, sex is a bit of a, you know, you get hate, like, look, it's like being on drugs having sex, you know what I mean? Because it, it gives you a buzz to make you high. Yeah. But they're like, you know, like... The adrenaline is up there, isn't it? Yeah, and... Um, it depends, because I mean, obviously, do you know what I mean? Look, like, the dilemma here is, for me, I like women. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I like but women. But you still get the same feeling with a woman, and you... Yeah, Where that's you, what I'm saying. Yeah. What, it, what it is for a gay man, obviously, is the equivalent for a straight man with a woman. It might, it's, it's got to be something like that, otherwise it fucking wouldn't run, would it? I've been with women and men. I can't I cast myself as bad. I like both. But I can't man. believe that Edwina Curry thing, man. That's oh, yeah, it was a... And he was probably young then. No, fucking Robin's, man. Fucking, she's just, oh, she, the sweat down there, she's... It was awful. Bet fucking smelled like bins. I was it? sick. Oh. <laughs> it was, I've been drinking. Anyway, when I saw Colt sick over a fanny. Oh, was that? You were actually sick on her fanny. Yes. Yes. Well, I've been drinking a lot. Didn't but you know, was actually that like, book. Yeah. You know, I've been drinking all night. She remember you. Would she remember that? <laughs> Would she? It's probably why she said she don't. Then remember. again, she's probably had it a few times if it fucking stunk down there. <laughs> Fucking dirty cake, got more money than everyone else. I fucking ever wash you. Every fuck. time they want a promotion, they'll, she, she'll go and sleep, won't she, with them? Someone. Fuck, so. And John Major, what was it? If I could talk, it'd probably have some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> mate, does it smell like bins or what? It stunk sweat, it's made of sweat. It's fish. fish oh, isn't it? yeah, man, dirty bins on a cancer estate no, on a hot fish. day, man, with someone just a lot of kippers in there or something. Yeah, fucking fish stinks, man. Do you know John Major? Nerve, was he, it? Was Can John Major it? just floating around all this time? No, oh, all the time. He John was Major standing in the corner of his finger in his own. The thing is, John Major never actually stayed to the end of parties. He left. Did he quite have a few people out like that at the come up beginning of that? Like, have you seen him do anything though? That's what. Oh yeah, you have. Underage, what boys? Could be in, 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 in um. I have seen him, yeah, we're underage, but... Boy, yeah, so I don't, feel, I don't want you to feel under pressure to say anything you don't, so I can see you feel a bit under pressure, and I don't want you to, so... Do you know what I mean? That's enough, really, that's enough. That's enough, that's enough, man, that's enough, man, that's enough what you've said. Yeah. You don't like talking much about politicians, because I know that... Well, part of me still feels like... like I feel, do feel what... You feel like they can just people, fucking... They've got more people that can... Just walk into your life at any time and start making things ill. You don't yeah. want the stress, you don't want the frets. You want to be fucking left alone, man, to get on with your life, man, so you can feel easy, innit? Shit. And just fucking Didn't breathe. Get the fuck out of my life. You've already fucking taken it away. Like, now fuck off. I want to keep on fighting till I die, but I never get the chances these days to yeah, do it. Yeah, you fucking, why you got to be, like, it's not fair, it's not fair, Andrew, man. It's not fair that you got to be like that you know what I'm saying like at least if you could be allowed to go right fuck it that's done that's so no, far like that. I've only started being like that again. in your head in, yeah in your head in your head you, you have to right we're all here we're all going to die right yeah no yeah. one's going to escape it yeah and wherever you're away you're going to die you, you can't change it but they can't take anything from me because they took it all from me but you know what you what you you're giving what you're giving to other people now information wise if you was gone tomorrow you think that's going to stop Mate, do you know what you you've still done? be alive with that going along with it. What you've done, but from what I've seen, is the most powerful news I've ever heard. And relevant. Ever. I've never you know, I've never heard news like your life. I've heard hearsay, but I've never actually well, met someone. Must have, you, you've heard people talk about it before. It's not fucking not paedophilia. Not, this was just not something that was around me. You probably mate. never just never met anybody who was being trafficked and I was being trafficked. No, trafficked. This was a world this is a world that was like my focus went on that. My focus was on trying to fucking sing like Charlie sing. Wilson or Do you know there would have been child though? This government wanted to bring the one the one of the women oh, what they call them they wanted to bring child down to twelve was it twelve? Yeah, yeah, you can send it on the back, yeah. Then 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 anything that I say wouldn't have been against the law. No, we do that just for one person's case. Listen, man, that, like, I do like, it to protect one person, but the whole point is you're giving a ticket from it to be illegal, so you can just go and fuck a child. 
and that's wrong. That's it's it's wrong doing it now, but it's not going to make any better if they brought the what's ball the, down. What's the worst thing that's ever happened there? I mean, really, the worst. Just fucking shot me. I need, I need, I need, I need, cook, I, I need to know. That, I really need to know how fucking deep this thing gets. Cooks, and how cook, fucking it cooks one of the worst. One of, goes to one of the worst, but these are the worst people out in the world. No, to you, I'm talking about experiences you had was cook was one of the worst. Yeah, yeah with the um, death because he left me dead. And he killed me for three days, and they kept bringing me back alive for a couple of days. Like, well, I say three days, three days it was two nights, but it seemed. A week because was you kept under some train station or something? No, we kept in a basement in a in a. I in thought did did Bill say something about you could hear trains or something? Could hear yeah, trains going by it and everything. Must be. We were in the cellar, cellar in underneath the cellar. Yeah. yeah. Fucking hell! What's that like? I was handcuffed to a kid who's dead. We mm. weren't dead to start with. Yeah, was really it, was really this really the eight, was this the eight-year-old kid? Yeah, but I was only about. Think. No, he was ten. He looks younger than he was, but he was ten. Yeah. Fuck. And uh, it's also need some of the media found out now because they did the checks on what things and stuff and they I feel lost. And they know the lad. The, you know, the thing my knows spirit the is lost. They lost. Took him off the street in London. He went. He went from a children's home. They just ran him off the street. They slammed him off the street. They did that quite a few times. Just it? kidnapping, taking them, fucking doing what they want. Mm, but that was um, fucking. He was just man. doing something on his own. If not for the group, it was his own. No, the like, cook. Yeah. When they start doing things on their own, so he, a lot of people didn't like him. What's the fucking? Where's the? Where's the ultimate weakness here, man? Where's the ultimate weakness? How do we go in and go, bang? Get out of that, you fucking cunt. Now the world knows we can do about it. The whole point is, MPs and everybody are saying the same stuff that we're saying. The MPs and, and stuff are now, an MP said, it's, it's openly said, because I've come across it on Facebook, and not Facebook, on um, YouTube yeah. and stuff, and, and I saw it, I said, he said that and he's done that, and I sent it to Chris, and Chris says, yeah, I know about that, because I've seen it before, he says, but the media didn't go, none of the media, this is when the MPs say that it's going on, the media don't pick up on it. Yeah, well, no, know, obviously, they they're a lot of government, they run the show like that. I, 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 honestly, I would have thought that goes without saying. Something as big as an influence, like a newspaper, something with that power of influence, obviously going to be fucking kept under Rebecca Brooks. Anything now? Brooks, yes. Ginger Bird from News of the World, who I'm about to get. <laughs> I'm about to get her, man, with a phone hack and I've got a bang to rights, but if you've got anything else... She used to phone hack, yeah, they, they all used to do it in the back then. What, the hacking? Yeah. Yeah, nothing, nothing, um, kiddie with her or anything like that, nothing. She, well, Maxwell's boat parties, she used to go on a few of the boats and some of his private, his yacht parties. What, where there was kids on the boat? Yeah, there was one with kids on the boat. And what, just paedophiles and kids and her? No, it was very, they want loads and loads. Max Clifford now. We need to right. fucking, we need to get, let him get That's some sleep in the next bit, one man. who's going up to court now. How can we jar that up? I don't know if you... Is it possible to take him down? Or would they be protected no matter what evidence you... You can't, you can't... If they did send him down, he'd get a couple of months. Like they do with some of them. Yeah, but even if you've got a couple of months, he's been sentenced. He's yeah, sentenced. he's got that mark on he's his name. Yeah. yeah, he's got that. But they're not going to send him, I don't think they're going to... Send him down the mark, send him down. Is that powerful? I don't it... know if they are pow as powerful as they used to be. They were powerful when they were in government and stuff. But I think yeah, but he mixes with all them people. Don't think he mixes with fucking Savile, he mixes with everyone. Yeah, power is up there. He's up there. He's protect he, but his, his protections are going out of the day now, they're getting old. That's the that's what's working that's against him, isn't it? They're all fucking them. old now. And the the people at the abuse are starting to be. He's a Freemason out. probably, isn't he? Have you ever seen the Queen abuse anyone? No, not the Queen. No? True to the fucking... Philip? Philip, yeah. you seen him abuse someone? Like what did what you see him do? What did you want to work in the... On the we used to be in the Navy. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, was I, mean, I mean, I was taken up... From social, I was taken up to uh, his Navy ship. 
うん怖いうん怖いフィカルやああ。He's moved, the bo- he's moved dead bodies about as that guy for Savile. That's it, yeah. I can understand. If he did. The, the Savile, if, he, if they took Savile. I'm to take him out because he knew she knew too much. If, you, if they'd done a, if they'd examined someone, someone's, uh, Savile's roles, which he didn't take out when he leads it off, and he doesn't take it out, he just keeps it there, says he has it on show. But it did come out a few times with that roles. People. It, And then see the roles, and then he used to use another roles because of the, because it's one of his chauffeurs had the roles because he was a chauffeur and he, that's what he did for a living. Those two. So roles. there was two chauffeurs, two two roles and roses that Savile could get. He had his own roles that he had to have to take out. And one could be used as a decoy, couldn't it? Mm. Fucking hell. Where did they take the bodies out? They dump, they dump, they dump them out at sea. Off the feathers. Same as what <sighs> Ted Heath was doing. Well, that same thing. Mm. He would have done it himself. It was the same guys that have done it. Do. It's the same people who get rid of. It's the fixers. Don't know anything about... It's the fixers that do it for Don't me. know anything about meddling McCann, do you? Well, not that when I say the fixers, I don't mean the... I don't no, think the people services. take care of things afterwards. The people take care of things afterwards. Mm. Yeah, several were one of them. One of the fixers. You took a piece of Jim fix it. Yeah, I mean, to a piss. Fuck me, that was in your face, He was a fixer for these bigger people, getting rid of dead bodies and moving things around, kids around, drugs around, all sorts of stuff, probably, eh? Mm. Fucking hell, man. I'm just like... Blown away. I don't know what to say, man. I don't like the conversation that we're having. Fucking hell, Andrew, man. Numbed off. To what age were you when you first went into band? Fucking 17. 17. But I came into it, I was last to come in. Well, me and Terry was last to come in. It was obviously always John and Tony because they were in a school together. And although I'd seen Tony before, I didn't really know him. And then uh, Terry come round my house because Terry's my mate from school. And I was having a mix in my bedroom and that, and we fucking shit, I had some shit turntables, man. And um, he come in and went, yeah, I'm in a band. And I said, fucking what, did you say anything for me? Because like, we was both right on the music at that time, you know what I mean? And uh, he went, no. I, thought, I was expecting him to say, yeah. So I went, what, 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 what's this fucking, what band? He goes, like, yeah, Tony's around the corner, man. She come, or Anthony, we called him then. And we went round now, and... Um, He was in a car, a hood up and that, sat there, and I just went up to him and went, like, on, on toes, man, and that. Like, he said, like, you like going to the studio and that tomorrow. I said, was, would it be all right to come? And he just went, yeah. And I couldn't believe it. I walked away and thought, oh, fucking. <laughs> and then I've come in and fucking stole it. Come and they had to that. go through none of that. And they had to go through none of that shit apart from giving it to the people that. I was fucking unaware, so I'm just like, yeah, bollocks, you don't run my life. I would ring Tom, I would ring Sally, you fucking cunt. What are you fucking plat? I'll give it to him, mate. I had to go. And they tried to finish me, and they brought Major in to do it. I don't know, uh, they've got the, um, the, when they, they don't do things themselves, they usually get other people to do lucky work, and they'll do it for each other, don't they? And it's a thing, most of it. That's the thing about being Masons. I ain't been, abu- I ain't been abused, Andrew, part. mate, but I feel like I might as well have been. mentally, you've been ragged. If you can understand that. I yeah. feel like, I, I do, I feel like I might as well have been. I, I, I'm not even trying to be, because my thing, fuck all of yours. I've been through some shit, mate, but I ain't been through what you've been through. And most people say that to me. Do you know what I'm saying? So your, 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 your thing's fucking heavy, man. But you know what I'm saying? I, we're not 
fucked up journalist people. We're real people and we're still trying to get our fucking heads around it. Do you know what I'm saying? I ain't got the intelligence to go off and fucking stitch you up and fucking you. I just want to... I ain't got that in us, man. I'm just fucking trying to come to terms with... The young things. I'm in this, now. And I've got to help fucking tell everyone. But it's got to be done properly. And who's going to fucking listen to me? You know what I'm saying? But they'll listen to you because you're fucking... Truth. You're the real deal, mate. Andrew, nice one, mate. Fucking like, come all on, right, mate. All these people, all they say, time give us the proof. Oh, it's okay. Give us the proof, Andrew. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, you fuck me. I wish I did have the proof. Bill will rip me fucking head off if you're. Esther Ransom. No. Frank Bruno. Yes. Edwina Curry. Yes. John Major. Yes. Confirmed. Elton John. Yes. Confirmed. Sidney Cook. Yes. Confirmed. Kenneth Clark. Yes. Leon Britton. Yes. Confirmed. John Prescott. Yes. Confirmed. Dennis Thatcher. Yes. Mark Thatcher. Yes. Jimmy Savile. Yes. Confirmed. Prince Andrew. Yes. Confirmed. Jeffrey Epstein. Yes. Nathan Rothschild. Yes. Cliff Richard. Yes. Tony Blair. Yes. Gordon Brown. Yes. Prince Charles. No. Queen Mother. No. The Pope. No. Robert Maxwell. Yes. Confirmed. Sylvia Young. Yes. Confirmed. Elton John. Yes. Confirmed. Simon Cowell. Yes. Max Bygraves. Yes. David Frost. No. Alan Wicker. Yes. Ted Heath. Yes. Confirmed. Okay. Yes means Andrew had sex with them. Confirmed means other victims have come forward and has been confirmed by NAPIC. This is horrific. We have, this is a very small list of a very big list. And this is a witness, and his name is Andrew, and he's come forward of Operation Fernbridge. And we're gonna tell the story, and we're gonna start his story with when he first went into care. Okay, Andrew, so, how old was you when you first went into care? So eight years old when I went in, when I went in care, but I want full care, then I want full care about when you go to your mid, you're supposed to go to your middle school, so about, about 12. Yeah. Um, when did you go into your boarding school? When I was about 12. And what was when, the name of that boarding school? Um, Gaff. Thorngarth. Yeah. So. Then Thorngarth then 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 residential school. Residential school in Bradford. Okay. When was you first abused? Eight years old. In and, a special school. And that was in a special call, school because did you have learning difficulties uh, and dyslexia? And, and um, it's, I've dyslexic. It was, I've dyslexic. It was and everything I found out in later life was dyslexic, but they just thought I was just. A little child and had learning difficulties, and mm. they just thought I would just because I was hyper as well. And do you take any medication? Not then, back then, no. No, do you now? Are you on medication now? Um, no, they, they give me some for my nerves since I've been under, but I haven't taken them because I don't need them really. Okay, right, let's go to the story of when you was at your boarding school and you went there. How old was you when you went there? Twelve or just before. But, but I'm a 12, well, just about 12, 12. When you went to a state-run boarding school, right? Um, and let's tell the audience about 
your first meeting with Sydney Cook? Sydney? Uh-huh. No, that was later on. That one, that one the beginning, that was later on. So. No, no, tell me about your, was that your first meeting with him? When you met him at the fairground? I've seen him at a few parties about and stuff. People told me to keep away from him and stuff. And so w- w- what parties are you talking it's, about? It's the guy who sold him to Sydney Cook you should be talking about. Right. His name was... Um, can I just say that Chris is here to help Andrew? Because obviously doing an interview, you, you know, you can become quite nervous. And Chris and Andrew have been speaking for many, many years. And Andrew actually went um, to Chris when... To Napec yeah. when he was, um, I was one of the first people to say these things, yeah. And then when they looked at it with the people and stuff, and, and people they realized I was telling the truth at yeah. the beginning. I don't think they believed me, a lot of them didn't believe the thought because it was too far fetched, even. Mm. And I knew it would be, people won't believe because it's because of because of the, the, yeah, the importance of these yeah. people and then, in society, yeah. but then those the things I said to Napec were just put afterwards, sort of on file. And millions, well, I don't know how to say millions, but lots of other people came saying similar stories. Mm-hmm. Then my friend that I introduced to Chris as a little kid, as a kid, who was in Amsterdam with me, was on, went on television. I and didn't he, know he'd been he on came TV. forward. I didn't know he'd been on TV till lately when Chris told me where to look on and, and And the guy was, nice. was, was, can I, this guy, your friend that was on television, he was in a film. Chris, yeah. what was that film called? That uh, he was in a an ITV product, a documentary called The Boy Business, which was about the making of snuff movies in Amsterdam. But uh, going, just going back to Sydney Cook, there was a guy in Bradford who led the ring of um, uh, paedophiles in Bradford. His name was G. R. Stevens. He was known as Graham. He's dead now. He's so dead now. Then yeah. he was the guy, and I met the guy, a mm-hmm. nasty piece of work. Who sold Andrew to Sydney Cook at the fairground? Right. So then, tell me what happened when you met Sydney Cook at the fairground. How old was you when you met Sydney Cook? 12, 13? 13, 14. So you was taken by this guy Graham from the boarding school to meet Sydney. The, the boarding school went there first couple of days. It's all good and everything. Then then other lads started having sex like lads do. Mm. Then a teacher there started abusing me and sort of having sex with the teacher. No, what no, was no, his name? Their name? Mr. Oh. and Mrs. Green? No, that was the headmaster. That was the headmaster, sorry, yeah. Sydney Cook, tell me about your first meeting with Sydney Cook, where and when, and who brought you to him? Graham took, a guy called Graham took me, no, Graham. Who Chris was just talking Graham about. Graham has got a lot of, it's Graham is from Wales, and he had to come out of Wales because he, he got up for him and, and he went to prison service centre. So he went for paedophilia. Paedophilia, and he went down to Chris knows. Can I confirm that Graham Stevens, G. R. Stevens, and Sydney Cook were were in jail together in North Wales in the mid to late nineteen seventies? Right. So they knew each other. So they knew well. each other well. Yeah. Right. And two, both were convicted paedophiles. Two. Yeah, right. Two paedophiles. Right. Yeah. So. He brought you to Sydney Cook. Where did he, he, he take you to meet Sydney Cook? Tell me the story. Tell me the story. What happened? We, I trust him and everything cause, because he, I just saw him like a father and everything. You know, I loved the guy. But that was Graham. Yeah. Yeah, you he, loved him. Yeah, and, um, but I loved a lot of the people that abused me. I felt I loved them, but... Yeah, yeah I'll just say, Bill, that Graham was one of those people who was very, very skilled at grooming children. Yeah. He v- played the father figure. You should have seen, uh, unfortunately, I've given him to Fernbridge, but the letters he used to write to us, we're talking about Andrew, who was a young boy, and he, he would say things in the letters like, um, I've never felt so wonderful as having my dear boy safe in my, naked in my arms in bed with me. So, could you tell us um, where you first met Sydney Cook and who took you to him? Um, Graham, Graham from Bradford, he lived in West Bowling. Not with my man in he lived in Nate Park. Yeah, so he's come and got you and taken you where? We were going to, go and, we were going to meet a, a, some friends, in, a friend of his in Wales. 
Yeah. And he asked me if he wanted to come with me to go and see him, meet with him in Wales. We, and a friend, of, another friend of his took us down in the car, came and picked us up and took us in the car. Do you know his friend's name? He was a, um, he was a judge. He was a judge? Okay. So what happened? They took you to meet Sidney Cook. You're in the car with a judge and Graham. Then, then we, we went by, we didn't go, we went, we went by bus, we went by, you know, we walked to town from, from there, then we got in a train, then when we got halfway, like, we went, don't know which town we went to, we went on halfway on the train, so we were like, five, probably five, six miles away from, from London, because that's what it said, Yeah. and... So and then the car down, picked yeah. us up there, the judge, a car picked us up there. So a car picked the three of you up there. Yeah. And it took us to the fair, then it took us to the fairground. Yeah. And then he went off. Who did? The judge? Mm. The judge went off, so you're left with Graham. And then who did he d introduce you to? Went to a fairground. We just went to the fairground, he said we'll just stop off and go to a fair. Ground and everything, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we from there we we catch a train from where we were into into because I thought we were going straight to Wales because we'd go up on train and then the friend would pick us up to Wales. Who did Graham introduce you to at that fun fair? Oh, um, it, Sydney. Sydney Cook. Cook. Right, tell us about so he's he, 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 he's met I'd seen Cook. him before at a couple of parties or. So I'd you'd already like, been at parties? Yeah, so, but not, he never did out with me at the parties, yeah. all, but. So, so you met Sydney Cook, and what happened then? We're talking about the fun first, so. Uh, went to, 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 it's difficult because it's hard, to, you know, because it's, it's, it's hurting inside, you know, like. Mm. I understand that. Uh, we went to. We went to the. We went to the fairground and, and it was. Uh, we went to the fairground, and we went to Sydney Cook and Cook says, "Well, I'll take care of them and everything." But there was another. There was an half cast lad there, already there. We Mixed rice kid. Yeah, we're half. Half, half cast. cast. What, what, what we called used to call half cast, which is now mixed race. race. Yeah, okay. I'm not being prejudiced a lot. Just no, of course I not. I understand that, Andrew. So. You met Sidney Cook, he's got a, a small mixed race kid with him. How old do you reckon the kid was? Ten. Ten, no. He could have been eleven, but I'm sure he was ten. Right. Ten or eleven. So then what happened? Uh, it, it, it was, nothing happened at the fairground. We went on all the rides. He, it, it was, it was good because we went on all the fairground rides and, mm. and you could go on all the rides for nothing and go around the fairground and anything you wanted, any store. You could have food to eat, they give us food and stuff. So you were having a good time? And, and it was brilliant, it was really good and everything. And, and, and they were making us feel really good and everything. They were giving us money to put in, in arcade machines, you know, and stuff like that. Yeah. I could say, give them some more money, but we want actually money, we like chips to put in, you know, So they were treating you well. They were treating, treating you, the, treating the you well, making really you well. laugh and making you feel good. We went on the roller coaster, we went on Twister loads of times around the Twister all the time. So that yeah. was Cooks, that and was Cooks. He owned the waltzers. Yeah. He even let us do the controls, in a, in a controls and play with the controls to make the ride go around. Right, so he knew people, obviously. He knew that he, knew that he was Fairground Sid, that's what he was called, yeah. weren't he? That was his do nickname. You, do you want me to narrow the time frame down? I would like to narrow the time frame, but what I'd like to say to the audience is um, when Andrew tells his story to all us off camera, it's, it's completely different. Now, uh, there's many of you out there that haven't ever told a story on camera. Trust me, it is completely different. It's completely different telling really a sto your story on camera. It's, it's nervous, okay? So, I'm gonna help you now because I know this story. 
You was at the fairground. Yeah, but do you want the time frame on this bill? Yeah, yeah. That would have been, we were narrowed, based on what Andrew told us back at NAPIC and our own investigations, we narrowed the time frame down to the summer of 1981. And it was on the day of, or just the day before, the royal wedding. Right. So we think we also know the identity of the little half-caste boy that Andrew's talking about because he went missing the same day. Okay, so let's go now. Um, when you when you told us the story, many times you told, told the story, and like I say, I know it's difficult on, on camera, Andrew, but just imagine, just put yourself that the cameras aren't there, and you're just telling us that, that story again, as you have so many times, so, you know, eloquent and fluently. You've got a tissue. You, have we got any tissues? Can we have a tissue, please? Okay, so we stopped it there, Andrew got a little bit upset. Right, Andrew. Um, this is a tough business that we're, we're involved in. That, it's very tough, you know what I mean? I want you all to understand that, what this man went through. Now, you're going to try and tell your story now, again. If not, I will tell it for you, okay? So, you meet Sydney Cook, gives you a good time, and then you remember, after that, going in a car, no, no, uh, Graham disappeared and, and he wasn't there anymore. So and you so left with Sydney Cook? I was left and, and, and I, I was just there and, and, and so Sydney said, I know, I know now deep down on that we're all set up so I could go with mm. Cook, Sydney, it was set up mm. for, but... So you, you then was with Sydney Cook, okay? We, now, you, we went, the way you told the story, we was, went to, we gave us coke, we gave us a, we gave us a hot dog, a, a burger with, with with hot dogs, burgers with um, cheese and some chips, French fry things that were on the. Was you still at the fun fair? Yeah, it's the fun fair. Right. Um, so you've had your hot dogs, your burgers, your coke. chips, and your coke. Then what happened? Then from there it says, come, it says uh, you won't be on streets so all out. We take we're taking you back to ours and everything. Graham can come pick you up. He knows where I live. So Sydney Cook said you're coming back to my place and Graham's going to pick you up at my place. Mm -hmm. All right. So then what what happened? What do you remember from there? We climbed into a great big massive front carriage of a, of a fairground wagon, all with adult. The pattern of the name of the fairground and stuff, can't remember. What, like just a lorry? Yeah, showman's van. It was a what? A showman's van. A showman's van. So the name of the, what, the symbols of what were on the wall, so on the yeah. front of the carriage and everything. Yeah. And, um, we climb into it, and at the back there's like bed, you know, because yeah. you can sleep like. It's a long distance type bog and type. Yeah, bog. like a camper, really. Yeah. Yeah. So because they would sleep in it yeah, as well. Showman's van. They so it was a showman's van. And, gotcha. Yeah. Right, so you've gone in there. And then we had to sit, there's two seats up front where... You and the young kid. And this other guy sat. The young kid. In, there was, there was Sydney with the young kid that was Sydney. And then I was with, and I was, there was me, and there was another guy who... Who was he? Did you, can, did you know his name? He was a friend of Sydney Cooks. In, we think his name was Alan Williams. Right from South Wales, he's known as the Welsh Witch. Yeah, that's right, the Welsh Witch. Okay, so then what do you remember? You're in this you're in this van, big van, it's got a bed in the back. Uh, he gave us a big, he gave us a great big bottle, like probably one, two, no, not two litre, or like one litre bottle of cork. You and the kid? You and the kid, and a little bit of it, we're already out. So it wasn't a full bottle? No, it was only a little bit out and... Yeah. And you start drinking it. We started drinking. He says he he he, he took the takes the top off to make it like he's opened it, and but he said the lad says that's been drunk already. It's a bit down. He says oh yeah, I took a swig to get a swig out of it. There you go. He says it's okay. And right. Says, yeah, so really you've dr you two. You're in the van with them. You're meant. You think you're going back to Sydney Cook's place, and then oh, what do you remember after drinking that? You have a drink and then, not a few minutes, probably about 
No, it was within minutes at time. First, we had a drink. Um, I think there was all the drugs before. I think there was some drugs put in the food that we were eating because I was feeling from there. So when we time we'd get into the van, and then we was drinking mm. this stuff, I was already feeling a bit heavy. Right. You know. My, so what? My, you started to feel sleepy, woozy. No, not sleepy first. I, I, first, I went a bit lively. We went a bit lively, and then yeah. then we calmed. Then we started to calm down to was laughing and joking with me and lad because we were getting on well and everything. Mm. And then he turns around and he says, I don't live this way. Right, Andrew. So you're in the van. In uh, you, you've been given this other bottle of drink. What's the next thing you remember? I've started to feel like I've been drinking a lot. And we were like, at first of all, like I didn't felt bit weird, strange, like the room changed, shaking about a bit. Then I felt like I was, then I felt like I was being drinking and never, and every night I don't drink. So they, you, you, what you're saying is they, they drank the drinks that they were giving you yeah, at the fun fair and in the van as yeah, well, probably. Yeah, definitely in the van. Yeah. So then what you, so you, you're not uh, feeling well, but then what happened? Then all some tired falls on you, you feel so tired, but so the tired falls on you. You can't, you up, you're trying to open your mouth to speak and you can't speak to them. Yeah. Words can't come out. It's so you're awake, but you felt like you was almost paralysed. I was paralysed because we were getting weaker and weaker and I couldn't do all about it. Yeah. And you think, you, you think, what's happening here? What's, you, okay, you think, so... You, you're out of control, you've lost yeah. control and you... So let, 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 me just, let me just push it forward a little bit on this, okay? So you're in the van, you're feeling very, very dodgy to say the least. What's the next thing? I fell back onto the bed and the 12 year old, 11, 10 to 11 year old lad fell sort of on top of me and everything. And we sort of, like, a like, bit like two brothers, you know, and, and, and he fell with his head sort of on my shoulder and I put my head and I fell on his. This was in the back of the van? Back of the van. I don't remember anything else apart from. But we just, it just so you don't remember we anything? In that van, we had things from that. From the, Everything was for blank after that. It's, uh, so, what happened when you woke up? Where was you? Um, I looked at when my eyes open, I could see light, and then I could and I, and I didn't realize the all all open, but I couldn't move my head. Couldn't move my arms. Where was you, Andy? At that time, I didn't know it for a few, for a little while. I didn't know where I was. I didn't know. I didn't know there was in a chain. I couldn't feel a the chain there. So you was chained. Yeah. And where was you? You was chained to what? What was you chained? Bed, to? It's an old Victorian type bed. So I, so you woke up, and you're in a old type Victorian, Victorian bed. bed. Was it a metal bed? Metal. Old iron bed. Well, yeah. And you was chained to it. How was you chained? The chain it was on your hands. It went around the arm, and then it went around the bed. It threw some of the ropes at back up bed. Yeah. And things, and then it came down. And um, I don't. I must have got. I got that at some point. So I got yeah, the you were chained. Was your, you, yeah, it was I, one hand over your head or both? Yeah, I know. No, just one. One hand's over your head. What about? The other little boy. What happened well, that to when him? I realised, it felt funny, and I did get a little, started getting a little bit of a feel, but it was. That was probably because you your hand it, was yeah, up, so your blood is rushing, coming down, and you're feeling a bit tingly and numb tingly and on numb the and chain. And, Where and was so I, I managed to get my head some somehow. I could look up my eyes, and I saw this funny thing. I don't. Um, I must have been moving my head. Slowly, but I, I know as I said, I couldn't move my head. It felt like I couldn't move my head. It felt like I was pinned down. And so you were in a Victoria, a big old, was it a double bed? It was a obviously. double bed, yeah. And you, was there anyone else in that bed when you woke when up? I managed, when I got my eyes around, I saw the little, the half cast lad. The mixed race kid the was lying kid. next to you. Uh, next to and me. was he chained? He was chained to the, he was chained. And then on a separate chain or on the same, same chain? On the same, same chain, so you're going around the back of the van on both, you both had one hand chained. chained. What about the feet? Mm -hmm. Not the feet. So you both got one hand chained 
and you woke up, you were in bed. Was the kid awake? No, when I first managed to be still out of it, but his eyes were open, he was out, he, he just out, I couldn't speak, so I'd, I couldn't say, are you okay or not, because I still couldn't speak words out of my mouth. But was he awake? He, not when I first woke up then, hmm. he did. No, he did wake up a bit, but not wake up, but he, his eyes opened a bit from closing. Right. Uh, but then, then there was, there were, um, they went, they cut. Okay, Andy, I know it's difficult, okay? So you're, you're in the bed, you're chained to the bed, there's a young mixed race kid next to you, he's still asleep, but you're awake, okay? Now tell me what happened. There was, Jim, there was, there was Sydney Cook on top of the little lad. Yeah, so he's come in. Well, I, look, I managed, my eyes looked down and I realised he was in underpants, and that's when I realised I was in underpants as well, and I thought, I don't remember getting undressed. Mm. And Sydney Cook was and, in there? And Sydney Cook were already, they was like, they, they, they were, then they were in the room, so they, I don't know if they were already in the room, but they, they was in the room after I had about seconds off and got that they were in the room and came onto the bed. Sydney Cook went onto the lad. So, you, you've woke up on the bed, you've, you've sort of, as you've come round, you've seen the kid lying next to you, and then you've noticed Sydney Cook, or did he come into the room while you was waking up? I don't know if he was already in the room. Because well, he was well gone. Um, I don't know if he was already in the room or he'd just come in the room. Right, but so, let's say, let's say with this, all right? So, Sydney Cook, you first spotted Sydney Cook, what was Sydney Cook, Cook doing? Tell me what Sydney Cook done. Rubbing himself all over him, feeling his hands down his rubbing the kid all over, all over him, feeling his his um, his, gen of, his genitals parts and yeah and and and, and was the kid awake? His eyes were open, but you could see. I could see it on his face, and I think that was, the drug was still on him. It was still on, on me. I couldn't speak. I couldn't say no. So it would have been on the kid as well. I was trying to say no, leave him alone. Yeah. And I wanted to say leave him alone because he, he's a cute lad. He was really nice looking. Yeah. And he looked younger and yeah. everything, and, and it really like got to me. Really like. And you were about twelve here, and he was about eight. About ten. About ten. Actually, so ten. yeah, he he was eight years old. The kid was eight it's years old. We think it was. Yeah. He was eight years old. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what was Sydney Cook doing to the young boy? Put yourself back there, Andy. What was he doing? Put his arms. He put his. Um, can, um, can I, what can I show you? Yeah. Put his, his arm like that, and, and, and then and he was like, even though he couldn't hardly move, he just held him down with his arm like that. But he didn't do it to, he did it to make him uncomfortable, just to look at the expression on his face, and, and then he was feeling him up and. So um, he, he, and, he gripped his throat, squeezing his throat. Yeah, and well, watching, no, just watching. enough for him to open his mouth. But he couldn't say help, but he didn't. Yeah. But then the the, the other guy was abusing. Had started on me at the same time. What was he doing to you? Same thing. No, he wasn't using. He didn't use that sort of violence. He used different sort of violences. What violences did he use against you? Punching me in the face and spitting. He pushed, punched me in the face, but on me, spitting me and says I'm worth nothing. Nobody, nobody cares about me. And 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 when you told me the story, Sydney Cook was doing something to the kid. He was He's, strangling him. You said and that was like what happened. Of it was drunk. If you get talent, you get uh, you get made. You make they make you feel like you're nothing, and then they spit you out. Then, and then they get their arms around you and, and put them around your throat, and and then and then and then. I'm then, gonna help then, you out. Then let they me, bring let you back alive, and then. Right. So let me help you out with this. So what he was doing? What? What? what because I know this story, people, um, and so does Chris. So what the guy done, um, what Sydney Cook was, 
doing to the kid next to you, he was started choking him and the kid was passing out. As the kid was passing out, he would blow in his mouth, as you put it, resuscitate him, bring him around again. And then the swap partners... Then do it again. But the swap partners... So Williams would take over from court. So they would change. So then you would get the choking. Yeah. And the kid would get... And he'd get a good beating. So they'd just switch around. So, so one was the... That's it. So this went over, on over a period of hours, Bill. Two, three two, two, three it was, days. It was two three hours. days. Yeah, but like the initial abuse... Took yeah. three, four hours. And then Sidney yeah. Cook kept coming back yeah. with his friend yeah. and continuing their abuse over, over a period sometimes, of three days. Sometimes it'd be full sex to do with you, sometimes. But you don't know when you're out. You don't know what they're doing to you. Mm. But I know what they did and to him. And, and he used to give you a drink when he came in, Sidney Cook. Whenever, no, they so, gave you a drink all the time. They gave you a drink. They didn't... They yeah. were very clever because the, once we were in, they gave us a we was that drug took a long time to what we had took quite a long time to wear off. Yeah. Um, it like it didn't wear off until after it had finished the first time, mm. and then I was in that uh, room yeah. where uh, so me and that lad were in that waiting room. Waiting seven or eight hours, giving him another dose. I can't, so every, I, I every, can't every, recall time yeah, because no, exactly. but that's the dose they gave you when you were telling me the story, you said it was like looked like water, but it tasted like marzipan. Yeah, a little bit like marzipan. Yeah. Right, so they kept you drugged. Over three days, I was coming backwards and forwards and abusing you, right? And we now, suspect they had a camera in there too. And Right. Now, so you was probably being filmed on that, okay? Because Sidney Cook was involved with snuff movies. Yeah. Okay? Now, um, you were very fortunate. Someone came in after three days and saved you. Who was that? Graham. So Graham, the guy who took you to Sidney Cook in the first place... He came back and saved you. What do you remember about him when he came in that time? What can you remember? Well, I was when he choked me. I felt like I was going down a tunnel and thing, and then it was when it felt like I'm floating down a tunnel, and, and and I just wanted to go to this light, and it was a beautiful experience. It was all peaceful and everything. This was when Sydney Cook was. Choking you, yeah. and, and the drugs, and, mate. Yeah, and the, and the drugs, and you felt that you was going towards the light. Yeah, and, and then some something, some like a, I call it like an angel, because it was like a bit of light came over. So the time's not up yet, and, and and then I'm like looking on top of, and I'm thinking, this is funny. How am I looking? On, that's me down there. I didn't recognise myself. So you was looking down on yourself, and, and what did you him. see? I saw him with that door of me growing air into me and everything. So it Sidney was Cook was trying to resuscitate no, 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 no. him. No, Steve. it was Steve. So Steve. 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 Graham Stevens. Graham. Graham Stevens, this is the guy who originally bought you, and then he was blowing into your mouth to try and resuscitate you. He'd come back for you. Come back for me. Thank God. So he's, he's, he's resuscitated you, and he started loosening your chains. But what about the kid next to you? What about the kid? What what happened? Brought me back around. He brought me back around, and I was still a bit stunned and everything. But um, what was he saying to you when he when you came round? He was crying. He was saying, "He's saying sorry, sorry. I didn't want, didn't know they were going to do this to you. I'm sorry. Don't die, don't die." And uh, I came around, and and when I came around. Because this man was abusing you as well, wasn't he? But not like Sidney Cook and the other guy wanted to abuse you and did abuse you. Right, so, tell me, about, hang on, what is going on? This is like fucking, like, pissing out. Let's have it, all right? I want to know what happened, okay? The audience, they want to know what happened. I know you're getting it, upset. It was... Graham's... But you woke up with Graham on top of you, trying to undo the chain. He was crying. He was saying he loved you. And I'm sorry, I didn't know they was going to do this to you. What about the kid next to you? What happened? It was white. But before, before I, I saw, the, before I went to the tunnel. Of, before? Uh, before he wasn't. Before he wasn't Graham dead, came Before in. Graham did, he wasn't yeah. dead. Uh, and it like, because it was two, one night and, 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 uh, there was a time when we was together and we started 
it was started to the first night. We, we was, I was with the, we just two of us were the left the room, and we were just both in that room together and everything, and there was nobody. You were just you and the kid. There was nobody, and and I felt and and he was feeling from 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 uh, 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 You were hugging him. You were trying to hug him to, we to just comfort him. The book. Hugging each other, he hugged me first because he was so tearful and everything. So the kid was crying, you're hugging him and you're trying to comfort each other. Uh, but this was before, uh, this is what this, this happened at the times that you and him were on your own. You comforted each other. And then all of a sudden, when another, then Sidney Cook and his friend would be there. But Graham, he came back to get you. So we're now at Graham, he resuscitated you, yeah? He's undone your chain. What about the kid next to you? He was dead at that point. He was dead. I, I, I looked, he said, Grace, there's nothing you could do for him. There's nothing you could do. He was white as hell. Yeah. And what did you do? I went and I tried to give him a kiss of life. I thought, I thought to him. You tried to give him the kiss of life. If a crane comes in, we better come in this one back to that and get him out of me. You know, I just felt like I could definitely mind not me. Why not me? It should have been me, I've longer than him. He should have lived. But he didn't. You did. You did. That's why you're doing this. That's one of the reasons why you're doing this. You just, before when we were together, and I think that last night, and everything we were together, he, he was crying all, all the time for his mum. He said he loved his mum. He, he was crying for his mum, and he said he loved his mum. <laughs> he, he was me, dead. He told me he was taken from her before he was dead. He, he told me that this be the why he was taking me back. They the, put the, the, me out. Of, I would come out and I just. We're going to cut that. We're going to cut that down. Somebody's not talking. Don't open it. Don't open it. We're going to cut that down. Do you smell it? Oh, not to the door. Someone knocked on the door. Oh, no, I'm not opening it. You know what I mean? It's not wrong. It's not wrong. Everything you're doing right now is fucking right. And think of why you're doing it, man. Think of that fucking kid. Think of what that fucking geezer done that kid. What you had to wake up and fucking see. It's not normal, Andy. It's not normal, mate. You know what I'm saying? And it's traumatic for you. Because you, you're seeing shit that you don't want to have to fucking see. You it's know what I'm saying? It's on it. It's on it. We got that, right? Oh, go on, because we're rolling. Can't shut it. We're rolling. Can't door. shut the bathroom door. The toilet's fucking going through, man. Can't okay. Is there any light? Is there a light going on in there from there? No. No? No. Oh, fuck, I can see. Okay, so. Right, we're um, rolling, we're rolling. Okay. I'm on this one, innit? Yeah? yeah? Yeah. I'm on it, yeah. right? Um, okay, so um, we just took a break there. Um, and was getting a little bit upset. I got a little bit upset myself, and everyone else in here got a little, a little upset. And there's a few of us in here, you know what I mean. Um, but what Andrew um, during the break, he said to me that um, he gave Andrew the kid who 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 died. Um, Andrew, he gave you a message. What was that message? <clears throat> it's, 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 I I love you, Mum. I love. You. I'm, I'm sorry. He was talking <laughs> he was about. He was saying sorry to his mum. He was, he was saying, saying sorry to his mum. Like, uh, uh, all right, okay. Um, I love this you. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mum. I'm sorry, mum. I love you. Forgive me. I wanted to come on. I'm sorry. All right, Andy. Alright, right, that's it on that one. Yeah. Okay. No, no more. Hang on a minute. Yeah. Now, I would just like to say. Um, this this is one story. This is one story in a very very long journey. This man was involved in this for twenty one years. 
and he was he was schooled terribly. This man was made to shoot part of a snuff movie that Sidney Cook was in with a gun to your head. Is that it? Yeah. There's one more point to make, Bill. If people think Andrew's just come forward now and talking, I can assure you back in 1990 when Andrew came to NAPIC, Andrew and other victims, we tried to talk to Operation Orchid, which was the police operation that was supposed to be looking at that. And I would, they made would, two that's Sydney Cook. We that's Sydney Cook. Police. Two appointments, never kept them. Finally, I rang up the officer in charge. We're talking about what you've just heard. Yeah. And I'm sorry about the language, but his basic message to me was, fuck off, I don't want to know. That was the opposite. And the, and the, and the, and the Sunday he people... He swore before me. I'm sorry. I apologise, but that was his exact word. Jill, yeah. Jill please, they got me going in there with, with uh, the part of... With um, yeah. her Jill son. Her little son and, me, and they went in and we went in and they told us... They said... Yeah. They said they can't they do told, anything. We're not going to do anything. Fuck off. We don't want to know. Okay. What? Is, and let's, so he's not coming to yeah. Yeah. Let's stay you with the, let, let's stay with the kid. Also, then, hey, do you want me to tell you the name? Yeah, of the yeah kid? I just want to stay with the kid for a minute. Out of respect for the kid. Yeah. I just want to start. I haven't finished with this kid that died yeah. next to him. So I want to be showing a bit of respect with the kid here. What happened? What happened to that kid? Graham took you away. Yeah, and you, the kid stayed away. there. The kid stayed there. I don't know. The kid was dead on the bed, still chained. They was found his body a year settled. later in a forest in West Sussex. So they found the kid's body a year later in West Sussex. In a forest. Was anyone charged with the kid's murder? No. Was anyone accused of the kid's no. murder? So it's still not been... It's still an open case. Yeah. It's still an open case yeah. then. So after that, um, because that we're going to be doing more interviews with yeah, Andrew. That was the little boy who disappeared off his bike in Barnes High Street on the day of the, uh, the royal wedding. In the day we're, of the rule. We're absolutely convinced it's the same boy. Okay, so, um, you know, th this, this is a little bit upsetting. We're going to leave Sydney Cook at this point. But I will say that um, after that, Sydney Cook had a strong hold over you and he got you to many parties. He got you to shoot a snuff movie, etc. So that's a long story that you, with Sydney Cook. Now... With the, this list of people, and I'm telling you people, this list, this man is uh, one of the top witnesses for Operation Fernbridge. Um, he was also going to be um, a witness at Jimmy Savile's, um, one of his drivers, one of his chauffeur's um, um, trials, um, but the, the, the driver oh, allegedly yeah. killed himself the day before the trial. Um, anyway, now, um, the names that I'm being given are top politicians, um, bankers, top bankers, um, you know, big family bankers, very old family bankers, um, the entertainment industry, um, lawyers, lawyers every, everyone, everyone right across the board is involved in this. And the BBC, I tell you what, the, the BBC, you are outrageous. You are outrageous. Yeah. That's all I can say. Now, I'm going to go on to something else. When I was talking to Andrew, I, I, I give him names and did, because he was abused by so many people as a child. You can imagine from the age of, say, about um, 12, 12 or, well, that's when or younger. younger but he was going, I, I just need to rush this one on. He was going um, to parties all over the place and you had sex with many politicians um, you had sex with many people from the entertainment industry. Yeah, predominant politicians. We're not naming them. And also, you had sex with a member of the royal family. Uh, but we're not going to talk about that now. But what I do want to talk about that came out is David Icke. Now, Andrew, you told me that you had sex with David Icke. Yes. Where did you have sex with David Icke? We picked him up. From the eye, from the, we picked him. Uh, you picked I him picked up? up from Amsterdam with film equipment. Right. Um, on a boat. On a boat, a big massive. Whose group. boat was that, Chris? Charles Napier of Azimuth Trust. And the Azimuth Trust is, uh, or it was, was? It was a. It went. It offered children in care boating holidays. It particularly specialised in very young disabled children. Okay. Now you was on a boat. You was picked up at Amsterdam. Amsterdam with film crew and a couple of a couple of um, it was 
three of us were me and there was I went with a film crew. I was carrying the stuff and okay. And stuff this was that. making uh, um, like um, pornographic movies, yeah. child child pornography. The film that set off in England, we couldn't. They want mm. you couldn't. Go so uh, you you it's went in, you, you went in, to the island. They what? went from England to Innocent. Then they picked the camera people up from. They picked the camera people up first. Went over to Amsterdam. To get supplies and stuff and pick up. And then them. you went to the Isle of Wight to, to pick up David Ike. Lake. And he got on that boat. And he was on that boat 100%. And there were disabled children on that boat going on holiday with Napier and his trust. Yeah. Okay. It's a big, massive, beautiful, old wooden cruise boat with great big masters. And, okay. and then we went to the Channel Islands. We went around the island of Sark. And just spent a couple of days around there. Yeah, let's stick on David Icke, okay? Where on that boat did you have sex with David Icke? Uh, down in down in one of the cabins, down in the it was big like the cabin place where all, everybody goes and stuff like it's tables in the table in it and yeah. they eat in it and it's a cabin and eating you can eat in it and it's a ta- cabin it's like a table but with chairs around and. It's an old-fashioned sailing ship. Okay, an old-fashioned sailing ship. Now, so you, how many occasions did you have, was it, did David Icke penetrate you with his penis? He was there all three days, and yeah, I did, I got buggered by him, yeah. How many times did David Icke bugger you on that trip? Uh, He only did me once, but he did younger lads. Younger lads? Younger Any lads. disabled kids? There was, there was only disabled kids there. So he was having sex, he had I sex with you. Old, I was probably the oldest kid. And there. how old was you then? I was under, I was under 16. Right. Yeah, we were under 16. It would have been about 14. About 14. Mm-hmm. So David Icke's had sex, he buggered you there, right? And then uh, bearing in mind, you were really the equivalent to a rent boy. Because they I've gave never you money. I didn't see myself as a rent boy. No. I think I wasn't given money to be there. I was given money to help with the filming. Right. Because I was living in Amst- a bit of Amsterdam on and off through big trafficking and stuff like that. You know, when we, we, we were talking about these, um, these children that were on the boat, the disabled children, you said to me that most of them were Down syndrome. Some of About half of them were Down syndrome. Half of them were Down syndrome. Uh, Did David Icke have sex with the disabled children? The Down syndrome cut child he did, yeah. He had, was it a boy or a girl? Boy. It was a boy. One was boys, he didn't touch the girls. Okay. Okay. David Icke. Okay, we're gonna run it up there. We've got a lot more interviewing to do with Andrew. Is it is um you know, you can see um what sort of condition the life that he had as a child has has left him in. And why why are you coming? I know you're one of the top witnesses of Fernbridge. You've also been threatened by Fernbridge about putting this into the public domain. Mm. They told you not to, and then they said that you can. They also told you not to speak to me or Chris Fay. And they says I can. And then they said you can. So they, that you can, you can't. You can't, you can. Then they stopped me from talking to other media and stuff by taking us away and stuff and putting us in hotels. They and, and also and what's coming as well, people. This man was taken to the Isle of Wight, went to Parkhurst last year, paid for by Fernbridge Operation Fernbridge, where they got him to have a meeting with Sydney Cook in Parkhurst, and you had a three and a half meeting with Sydney Cook in past past Parkhurst. Sorry, Andrew. Um, last year, so that's to come. I went in. I went there last year. Yeah, August. on holiday. August time. Yeah. yeah. On holiday. Okay. Then that is one to come. I say to that camera, we're coming to get you. Look in that camera and we're tell coming, them we're coming to get you. Yeah, we are coming to get you. And David Ike, I'll tell you what. I haven't sworn yet, why? No. Well, I'm not going to then. Surprised, well, I'm not going to then. <laughs> I'll just leave it on that. It's been a long time. Coming. David Ike, coming to get you. Okay, Brian. We'll do. Lovely. Andrew, I wanted to talk to you about your um, time with Fernbridge. Um, I understand you've it's been over a course of many months that you've focused. Yeah, that was correct. It, first, um, they came, and I was really 
the, the police know when they do the investigation, looks, when they find him there, they must know my date of birth, my birthday and everything. So why do they come bang uh, when I'm going out on my birthday, why do they come on my birthday? Mm -hmm. Bang on my birthday, they come on my door and everything and say, we've come on to, would you like, we need to talk to you about crimes of the so, past. So that would have been May... May 15th. May 15th, 2013, yeah. So they actually approached you first? You yeah, on my birthday, them. they just came to my door. They said, you take quite hard to find, I said. I said, yeah, I prefer it that way, because I don't want people on past, well, I didn't want people up past, but they're all old now and stuff, so I'm, I got scared, I'm, I'm, I did get scared, but I'm not scared anymore of you. No. And it was it was two police officers, was it? Were they from... Uh, it was, um, yeah, from, 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 from London, they'd come up from it was London. Settled himself? No, no, settled in town, mate. No, um, it was Scottish, and Tamley and um, Nathan. Nathan. Nathan, Nathan Jones. Jones. Okay. Uh, and they approached you first, they said, can we have a word with crimes of the past? To begin with, it was informal discussions at your... At well, it wasn't full discussion, yeah, it was here. Yeah. But they said, because they, they, they I'm a carer for Paul, mm -hmm. um, I'm firstly a carer for him, and then, you know, like, that's what I do, I yeah. care for him. Yeah. And I'm a registered carer and everything for him. And, um, so they didn't know if he, what he knew about my past or not like that, mm -hmm. and so the naturally the they took you to the, the, the no answer. they asked if it were okay with well, them went upstairs in the room mm -hmm. I said no it's okay you got anything to say you say it to me I thought have I done something wrong and what have I now I was questioning myself but yeah well, they well I haven't done anything wrong I'm thinking to myself but the, 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 but the thing that come on my birthday. They could have come any other time, but your birthday. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it seems a bit of an unusual day to actually spring that. Um, your birthday, it. and it buggered my birthday. I'm sorry, I don't know this way, but it buggered my birthday up a bit. And, 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 and so they were. It, and then after that, because I didn't know fully what they wanted, they did tell me a little bit. We didn't go into interviews there and then. Mm -hmm. They had to rearrange, to rearrange so they could use the interview room in Bridington because mm -hmm. they've got a special interview room where, where uh, children go, used go, you know, like victims go and stuff yeah. for children and other stuff. It's like a safe house type yeah. of thing. And that, was that where most of the interviews took place? That's that, where they all yeah. took the, the, the down in Bridington. In Bridington. And that was a, that's a, that a separate building to the police station? Yeah, it's not in the police station. It's, it's, an, house. Safe, it's, a it's house. an old police officer's house that's been right. made into a, you were later taken to London, weren't you? Mm -hmm. When they took you on that walk? Could have been. Earl's Cole, you, the officers at Earl's Cole, yeah? Mm, maybe, I don't know. Oh, all right. But anyway, yeah. Have you been told not to say anything about that? Maybe. Who told you? Uh, Who told you? Tell me. Andy? Who told you? Who told you not to say anything not about it? Because we don't want to make, we don't want Chris to come across as sloshy. Either. No, no, no. So, no, no. Uh, and I know that you can put a story across. So, if you've got something to say, Andy, let's have it now. Uh -huh. All right, all of it. Yeah, please. I was told how to do interviews and stuff, and I've got to do it a certain way. Tell it, tell, because tell. It, because it can interfere. Because and now I know the house is bugged. Mm -hmm. I have to. I'm thinking to myself, I better do it there. Well, I mean, all it is is just a, if you were brought to London, which I think you probably were, you were brought to London. That's a straightforward factual yeah. thing. We don't, have to, you know, we don't have to go into it any more than that. Yeah. I mean, or, or, or we just want you to tell the truth. Now, when we make this, if there's something that you're not happy about, then that's a different matter. But when you, when, when you talk to us, or we'll ask questions, you just tell us the truth. Like, what was your question that he had trouble asking? Uh, the, the question was whether or not he was um, taken down to London to, to uh, I've been to I've been to London, yeah. Yeah. But that's I can't. But was you taken to London? <laughs> oh, you <laughs> was, weren't you, by the police? Possibly, yeah. Right. So we'll take that as a yes. Um. Okay. You see the fear on the man. Yeah. It's. And that's. The, I mean. The amount of hours that you you've obviously spent with the police. Uh, quite a lot. And they, was it a 
pretty regular thing? Would they take you down? Would they take you down to no, every week, or was it? Bridlington, it was done monthly over every was, month. Yeah, I've done over seventy hours of interviews with them yeah. on different things, and, and I've still got interviews to do. They were still doing. They were doing it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, weren't they? <coughs> what? They were doing it three days. They do it three days in block. Yeah. In a block. Yeah. Yeah. So like, they come one week, do it three days. And then they might come another week, or they might come another week, or they might come a month. Sometimes it first it was every week. Yeah. No, first it was yeah, first it was every week. First month, then second month it was half of a week. Yeah. And then it went to like once a once a. Uh, um, then it went like a month. A bit, a bit less. Yeah, and um, this is I got more interviews to get them because, but. They haven't yet been for any more interviews. Mm -hmm. How many hours have you done so far, Andy? Seven. Seven. Uh, it was over sixty-five, but now it's seven. Uh. Yeah. And when was the first time that you noticed that there were other officers there that you've not seen in past interviews? In terms, of, I'm talking about the members of the security services, MI5 and special. That only started. Things started on and getting a bit tight on the collar of you, like yeah. because. I want to do the right thing. I want to see he, the truth come out. I want to see these people, but to just you know, people done to me, but not just to me, to other people and stuff. And it's it's really, really, really hard because because you don't know. It start with when you come out of the care system. You don't trust authority. Mm -hmm. You've been taught that from square one. So I, I try to trust the authority. But the authority aren't playing ball, they are, they're just using me as a pawn, like a, just a thing to try to, and and that's not my doing, that's mm -hmm. not, it's just, I'm a victim when I'm giving them inf evidence and and they're just turning it around and just. Yeah. Why do you think they're doing that, Andy? I think that sometimes I think they might be trying to set me up, sometimes I think, but it's only thing thoughts in my mind. Why are, they, why are they trying to set you up? In what, what manner are they trying to set you up? I don't know. Can I put something to you? Are they, you know like when you were um, going through all this from such an early age, you know from when you go back to Sydney Cook, etc, etc. Yeah. Um, you must have had a lot of threats against you. From all the time? All the time. You're so, told not to tell people, you're told not to... Not to say anything. Say things. It's just put into you and the family. When you haven't got a family and somebody becomes your family, and oh, and that's what happened. Is that, you, you, do you know what Stockholm syndrome is? No. Stockholm syndrome is when the victim believes that the perpetrators have become best mate or family, like you just said. Do you, but it's hard. You know, it's hard. Andy, you've got to remember that we're here because we believe you. Well, we're not here because we don't believe that, you. It's not the fact that you believe me. It's how many people have come to say, I was one of the first people to... I can understand people not first believing me because I was one of the first people to come. Yeah. Well, this is your chance. But there's been loads and loads of people come forward saying the same stuff. Why do you think the police are so keen on me? Did they arrest me if I was lying by now? Yeah. They'd have arrested me by now if I was sure they would have. But I, th I, I think the point, the point is that really I think what James is saying is we, we understand that we understand Settle and his team. It's not doing, Settle; it's the people. It's people who yeah, him. Hang on. Yeah, I was just about to say that Settle's playing a straight bat. But as you know, for want of a better word, dark forces exist around it. Mm. And if you remember, we had that conversation where, for your own sake, I said to you, you needed to get from Settle who these people were. Still could you tell you stuff like that. If, you're, if he knows your lines have been recorded. Yeah. If he exactly. knows your lines have been recorded. But he, he did confirm oh, they were. He's recording there, it's not affecting it. Yeah, they come. Well, they're on Firmbridge, you Firmbridge. know, they are Firmbridge. Yeah. Firm, it's not Firmbridge, you're just bugging. Exactly. And he also. It's a special, it was a special mm. force of obsessive but he didn't say yeah, the one. But, it, but they did tell when we were in the hotel, Nathan let slipped out that there was a special branch. Yeah. And, but he did, he wouldn't tell you the unit, but he did say 
he did say they were Dutch special branch. Oh no, that, that was early. Good. That was that's um, that's uh, to do with Amsterdam. To do with that's Amsterdam. Totally and different then parts of the yeah. But what I'm saying, they're still not firm rich. They're still security, and they were there with. That's a different with thing altogether. Yeah, we'll yeah. talk much about yeah, that. I know. I appreciate that's that, fine. but we're just we just, we just want, need to get it recorded. You know, we just want the spooks bit. The fact that the spooks are involved. And they, they were they were on a couple. They, they are were, they're involved all they're all involved all around. And they've been. And they, they've and been the, but, but the thing is, they've got the nice. They do the nice guy, the nasty guy. Good cop, bad cop. Yeah, and 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 they and when they get nasty, mm -hmm. they don't just like they like. If that were your keys, they just go. You're not doing it our way, and they go like that, and they just come like within a second to your door, mm -hmm. and you don't know where they come out, come from, and they can come any time. You know, like, and then they came at four o'clock in the morning. To come but they, they also made you sign documents, didn't they? I've signed documents, yeah, I have signed documents. And what was that? Is that the official secret act? One of them was, would have been the secret official act, yeah. Did I mean, you recognise it as the official secret act? The problem is, some of the forms that I signed, because I'm dyslexic, and a bit, I know I am dyslexic now, but I, I'm still getting over things. Because then I've got people. Of, I've got some good people now. Like thanks to Chris and thanks to Bill, mm -hmm. some pe these some people like are helping me and starting to things like mm -hmm. I've got a bit of do donation and to buy me a pair of headphones. Mm -hmm. So and uh, so you could blog. Where so I could blog. Right. Let me let me just stop this for a minute. Right. And let me just put something to you. Right. I'm going to ask you a, a, a question on behalf of James. Right. Now listen. You went to see Sidney Cook last year. Yes or no? You're not. You're not telling me. I'm asking you, and they said if I ask, you're allowed to answer a question. Possibly. No. But the police told you when they told you how to deal with an interview. They schooled you in how to do an interview. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now we come a long way here, Andy, and we are right by you, and we've got your back. <laughs> now I know that you went to the Isle of Wight a year ago to see Sidney Cook in Parkhurst. No. Oh. Was there, what was the reason for the trip Did to you? the Isle of Wight? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh come just, on, you, just an holiday. Andy, come on, because we might as well fuck off now if this is going to go like this, seriously. Mm. So what did you say again? Last year, you visited Sydney Cook in Parkhurst on the Isle of Wight for three and a half hours. Yes or no? I'm not going to ask you about the conversation. Did you or did you not? Yeah. Yeah. Now, was that Fernbridge that told you to go and visit him? Go and visit him? I don't know. Who told me to visit him, but it was. Why did you go and visit Who him? Who took you down? Hang on, Chris. Who told you, right? You don't just get in to see Sydney Cook. You don't, if I wanted to go and see Sydney Cook, no chance. Anyone in here, no chance. You just said yes, that you went to see no, Sydney Cook. You can't talk about it because if you talk about that, then it's going to, the guy will get walk from, in the walking free. He's due out next year, you have an end of this year or next year. He won't walk free, all right? He will not walk free. All I want to know is, did Fernbridge send you to see Sydney Cook? Not firm, but it came from Aya. Okay, who? From the special branch? branch? Probably. No, I don't know because they haven't told they me. Wouldn't have they wouldn't have identified They wouldn't have told me because I can't answer that question. It's but, not that but, but, but you can answer that you went to see Sydney Cook just, last I, year. I've answered it, haven't I? So. Do it one more time for me because I like you. <laughs> yeah. Did you go and see Sydney yeah. Cook last year? Yeah. yeah. And you was assisted in that by higher powers. Yeah. But how, long, how long was it for? How long did you speak to him for? 15 minutes, 20 minutes? No, no, longer than that. Three and a half hours? Three and a half hours because they wanted to find out some stuff. What did they want us to find out? It's, uh, he's he's, 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 he's going to talk to him anyway before he puts anything up. Yeah. Yeah, well, I know. I am. Any... If I go... It, any, I was told, if I go... It, anything that is... That is, it, it wasn't the place who did it, it was... Special branch. So it'll be denied. 
So it's so a special it's branch? It'll be denied. So was it special branch? I don't know. But it, MI5? I don't know. But it was one of them? They were working with Dutch. Secret, it, they were working with the Dutch? So it was secret services? Possibly, but, they, they, but well, it wasn't the police. There's a the case going on in Holland in, in the moment, and it's part of that. It was, they wanted to. It was the people who invest came for that as part of, you know, the investigation going on in in the moment, the moment, and but they were part of that. That's all I can really say. It's this the Dutch special branch. That was the Dutch side. Yeah, that's all yeah. I can and say. This is this, this this and the reason why you was, there, went to go and see um, Sydney Cook is because. Um, because uh, Sydney Cook, oh, well, you come in then. Um, it's on my blog. I put on my blog, but, but that, that's fairground Sid and, and Sydney Cook's part of sort of all the same thing. He's part of all of it, isn't he? Mm. He was making stuff movies in Amsterdam. That's what yeah. Did you did you see Sydney Cook at a party with Jimmy Savile? Yeah, I did. Was Prince Andrew there? No comment. That's done. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love it. I'm not being... <laughs> Give me that one, London. No, I'm not being fucking. Can James do his thing before you... <laughs> but it's all in I know what I'm doing. I know what you're doing. All right, bro, and I think everyone's... I, ever, I think, oh, listen, I'm talking to Andrew on this one, Chris, OK? I'm and I think everyone that. here, we've got the... We, you just help... We, you just help when we need you, bruv. All right? Do a quick no, stop. Andrew, can I just emphasise again? All we want to do is to get the truth. You have the truth. Now, we're not going to go and break the Official Secrets Act, trust me. There is no terrorism involved here, or any of that. These are about dirty fuckers that were killing children, torturing children, in the most horrific manner, on a regular basis, Andy. Now, I've spoke to you for quite a while, and I came up here because you said to me, I just want to get it out and tell the truth. So you spit it out, bruv, and clean yourself. Go ahead. Just before we do, because this is on low again, so what I'm going to have to do is, can I try it with that? Um, yeah, mate, yeah, 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 do what you've got to do, mate. Because, um, if we do, let it do can, that. can it come, so can it come to sort of back, or will it, will it have to be right in front of you? Mate, I'll be popping. Actually, no, leave it, leave it. We'll go again in a minute when he's, when he's sat down and he's ready. Nice. All right? Now, yeah, listen to me. This man, he's not going to get you into trouble. I'm not going to get you into trouble. There's, there's things because, like, hang on, hang on. Because some of this that we're getting on this visit may come out later on, when it's all over. So at least we've got it. I'll give you an illusion one. <laughs> all right, bro? Andy. Do what you got to do. Andy. Leave him alone. This is coming no, leave him alone. Leave him alone. Because we're normal people. Mick, leave him alone. All right? You talk to this man, all you got to do, bro, is tell the truth. Look at me, look in my eyes. You trust me, all right? You trust me? I trust you. You wouldn't have words. Do what you got to do. I'll do what I've got to do. You do what you got to do. You see? I'll then bang us up in the same fucking cell. Alright? We'll get on well together. Don't worry about it. Is that, uh, why I stop it? I'll get it out there for you, and we will protect you as much as we can. There's no one going to fucking bang you up. Trust me. Why? How are they going to bang you up? If they bang you up, Andy, what are they going to say? Why are they going to bang you up? What are they going to say? They're going to have us outside the fucking court. Well, why, Everyone. Why do they believe the rapists all the time and the bad people and the, never the good people? Because they do to the good people what they've done to you. And if they're listening now, and I know they are, fuck ya. I've That's what I say to them. It made me feel like I want to commit suicide, but I can't do that. Because well, you ain't going to commit suicide, are you? I'm not suicide. Because you've got Paulie. Paulie. Yeah. And you've got a little team here around you, and we've got our networks. Well, that's how they'll make me feel at the time, like... Of course they would, because they're fucking up and they're covering it up, Andy. Now, this man, we've all come a long way, but that's not why you've got to do the thing here. It's because you're 45 years of age. Remember when we spoke, and I said to you, I'll deal with children, dead and alive. When I'm on my fucking deathbed, I will go peacefully because of what I've done. What you're talking about, there's a mother, there's a, you're talking about, there is, a, there's somewhere, there's somebody's mother and everything that doesn't know what's happened to her son. And that I know, her. well let's tell them. What about Myra Hindley? Where's the, the kid that they never found, the kids they've never found? Oh, I think they found this kid. Yeah, right, so let's go again. James? Yeah. 
Jones, is, Jones is trying to get something in the Sunday for you. Yeah. But he's just looking for a background. Give him a couple of little juicy snips. Done. Then we will work with you. Because I will stay up here a fucking week with so you. If I you, yeah, look, you, know, you know they were spooks. I know they were spooks. That were there. They were not Fernbridge, were they? No, they were bloody, you know, don't be frightened of them. Yeah. You know, that, that's what they rely on, frightening people. They've got an extension lead in, well. We'll just get extension lead. Yeah, just to get the extension lead. That's what I'm fucking saying, you know, if you want it on a call. That's a good thing. So, someone get into a glass of water. Who wants it? Me, just me, please. Right, stop recording me. In the interviews you've had with Fernbridge, just to confirm, there has been people from the security services sitting in on them um, from so special been a, There was some some of the, the a couple of interviews have had a live link to London. Right. So I don't know who's been from Bridlington. From Bridlington, so I don't know who's, who's been at the end of that live link. I couldn't tell you because they won't tell me. I didn't know. I just thought it would me give my other side of the story to the police, right. but it started getting silly. It's like. <laughs> Like when I started uh, contacting Chris, because I, the, the police only gave me, I tell you, all the police gave me is, well, was on that form, you know, police form there. That's all they gave me. They come on my birthday, mm -hmm. and they only gave me that. You know, there's two numbers. So when you were having these interviews now, the live link to London. So yeah, was that via, was that audio, or was that visual as well? Visual. There was two cameras. There was a camera doing the recording with the in-room court equipment, yeah. and then and a camera that was went to a wire to a laptop. Mm -hmm. Skype type thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I don't know the sound if it went to a laptop. In I don't know. Yeah, it's called Skype then. Yeah. So there was Skype, but I thought as well that there were. Um, no, they send it through a bit more of that. They've got special cable. Police have special cables that they send them underground because it was laptop went there and it was connected to the cable. They want a telephone. It was a different type it of cable. It wasn't wireless. It wasn't wireless. No, it wasn't no. just a power cable. No, it wasn't a power cable. They plug it into a thing and it and it says because um, they use it. They use it. We you know when they do interviews in court. Mm. They use it to do interview, interview witnesses, live interviews, witnesses in court, and they've got a special cable, a special line, probably a telephone line, but they've got it, they're plugged into a special, what's it, and it says live link, okay. it just says live link, and then they plug into the live link. Okay, but you. there was also, was there not um, actual members of the security services sitting in on your interview? Mm, never, in Bridget, never in Bridget, never in But in London, or uh, other parts? Only when they came down here, when they came down here to put stuff in the house and stuff like that, and because I knew they were doing that because I didn't have a choice really. Okay. Well, I thought they were they um there were two officers from the Fernbridge, but there were also two officers from the Special Branch. Did could moment. have been? I wouldn't know. I just assumed that the different officers at different times. Right. There has been a time when there was four officers, yeah, yeah. in interviews. And but I can't ones? tell. I can't tell you. I assume they're from Fernbridge. Uh -huh. Um, so when did you know that the security services were involved in this? The moment when they were going to put... I didn't know until the moment they were going to put... When they turned up one morning, like at um, 8 in the morning when the journalists were coming mm -hmm. from a tower, you know, and it was on down here, so they cancelled it. They mm -hmm. were coming down to see me, and we virtually got off the train, and all when I'd phoned him up. Mm -hmm. And I said, You can't come because they was taking us out of the house around that time, looking through the house and that. And they didn't want, if he'd come to the house, I was thinking, Come and come to the house because he'd have stumbled on and he'd seen them there. And he'd have stumbled himself on a nice little story, I think. Mm. But fortunately, he turned back. You know, yeah. I wanted him to come, but I can't say it. You can't. They're there, like you, t you, Leah, and I'm talking on phone, and they're telling me, writing on pieces of paper, telling me. Tell you what to say. Yeah. Andrew, did you have sex with Leon Britton? Yeah. No. Oh, well done. <laughs> no. 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 What's no. no. fucking about? Did you have sex with Lil Britt? Yeah. <laughs> Did you have sex with um, Kenneth Clark? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Right. Uh, who's the other one? Did you have sex with John Prescott? He's been at parties and I've... I've, I've, I've I have... Yeah. Uh, Did you I'm have sex sure. with John Prescott? Not, sh no, I'm not sure. 
Right, but you did with Kenneth Clark. Yeah. And you did with Leon Britton. Yeah. So the sensitivity of these names, being that they were all top level MPs and they were in uh, the cabinet at the time. I was a big to elf, a big to party and, and these were all in London. Bit, <laughs> there was a somewhere around and there's a film of London of, of a party at, well I'm told there's a film well you know That's what so, that's the film that Fernbridge keep referring to when they talk to you, yeah? Possibly, yeah. Possibly. Have they got that film? I haven't seen the film they've got, but they've got a, they've got films and they've got interviews, they've got tape interviews, they've got films. I haven't seen them built up. Oh, I don't know. But, listen, <laughs> let, me, let me ask one more uh, another question. Did you ever film footage, or were you forced to film footage of a child being killed? Hmm. Only when they were on, uh, keeping myself. Yeah. Fair enough. We... No, but so you was under duress. What was the threat against you? I was in. I was trapped in that thing. I was being abused myself. Yeah. And 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 I was part of the abuse. What was happening there and then? And because the guy who was holding the camera wanted to have sex with the kid and wanted to keep the thing, then I got to get the camera to hold it for him. Why had he done it? Well he did it. Who was it? <laughs> Sydney Cook? Yeah, well, Sydney Cook was there, yeah. Sydney Cook was there, but... But who passed you the camera to so he could go in at six? That wasn't Cook, that was Cook was the on bed. Who was that? Well, uh, I don't know his name, he has a moustache. Little moustache. But Sydney Cook was there? I, I don't know his name, but it's gone out. Um, Tom? Possibly. Oh, uh, Tom, right. Have you seen more than one child killed? I've seen, I've seen. Yeah. How many children have you seen killed? If you've got to remember that, I am, I, I'm, I'm not. A, no, no one's blaming you. But no, yeah, but this isn't you, it's the people that made you. To, me, to make me think that it's. If they, they make, make it so, they make it so thing to make you, you frightened. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the thing is, what did they threaten you with? Did they say you could go to prison over it? Listen, right, let me let me put it let me let, let me put it like this. Let me put hang on. Let, Bill, me, put, let me put it like this. Bill, you're not listening. We're actually fucking getting it here. You're not listening. I'm fucking getting it here. Let me do my job. Not really listening. Listen. 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 Let me do my. Someone passed you the camera and Sydney Cook was there. Yeah. Right. That's what you said. Right. I don't now, know. Now let me just say let, so these much. numbers. You told me when to stop. Did you see? You told me when to stop. One child killed, two children killed, three children, four. The the thing is, if if I can just, I didn't see the killings because the people like me go out the room. The killings were always done after the people, so there were no witnesses. Were these but, they, but, they, but, they, but, they, but the but the but the but the but the but the but that time what you just said the but about the but the kind we now went back in the room. The child was dead. And there's other times when Charles was dead, but and there's times I would have for death and got scared. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so uh, what you would do, you would leave the room. You, yeah, because you, you just we look. One thing we understand, Andrew, right, is that you was under severe threat. We know you were threatened with guns. You was threatened with death yourself. We know about the story when Sydney Cook nearly killed you and you had to be resuscitated, right? So now. When you are attacked like that as a child, and you were sent in that boarding school at the age of eight, yeah? Yeah, from in there. special school, then boarding school. Right, special school, then boarding school, and from all that time, then they schooled you. And now they're saying to you that you could be the criminal. To make you feel special, you could end up easy being one of those, but I didn't. I didn't. Same, why well, you didn't? Not so you didn't you know, like, care of them. Andy, you know these people being killed in like in, in snuff movies and that. Was it like maybe a few a year that you were aware of kids being killed? Snuff movies. They make there's two, there's three grades of snuff movies in the industry. There's 
Right, grade A, grade B, and grade grade A, grade right. B, and then grade C. Yeah. And then grade C is when somebody pays, some rich, really rich person pays an awful lot of money for a kid's life. What sort of money are you talking about, Emma? And you'll never see them films because them fil I, I won't know fully how much, but you're in your like anything, 20, 30 thousand sometimes. Yeah, that's what we heard back in the 80s, that, that that's the sort yeah. of money yeah. that you're paying. Where at the bottom end, they might be only in the thousand, 500 to 1,000 pounds, yeah. and then in the middle end, it'd be like 3,000 to 5,000. But so, let me just jump back. So you had been at parties where Sidney Cook yeah, but the was people... with Jimmy Savile and Prince Andrew was there. Jim, was Jimmy Savile there? Savile was there, yeah. Right, what about Prince Andrew? You make me Go on, go on, go on. Hang on. Mark Dean. Well, yeah, Andy, you're doing well, bro. Trust uh, me, you're doing Stop. Well. Listen, Andy. Andy. When you go through a turnstile, then, and it goes to one, you turn from the, you go through a turnstile like this way, garages, are over there with all cars in, you know, Queen's cars. It's the Royal Muse, mate. And then... The Royal Muse. And then there's like annexes there uh, where staff live in. Do you know, like bed with little bedrooms and stuff like that. And, yeah. big, and there's a great big massive room where they all mix. The servants' quarters. Yeah, and that's where the party was. That's right. Who's there? Camera's off. Who's there? Don't fully know every name. Give me some. Come on, light me up. <laughs> Jimmy Savile, was he there? He was, he was there, yeah. Savile was there. Um, Leon Britton. Leon Britton was there. Um, Maxwell was there. From Robert the, Maxwell? Yeah, from, he moved, jumped off boat. Did that Maxwell get Yeah, there? Robert yeah. Maxwell. He was there. Mm -hmm. And how many kids were there? Not that many kids. It was like, um, they were only about, there were about four girls and there were about five or six lads. How old were they, About, Oh, about 12. Did Sydney Cook supply those? But no, they were supplied uh, from Amsterdam, they were supplied from, from there was a, the cake that I, we were booked, for, we were ordered off the order list. Because the order list and... So there was a list of you all, with your photos, and they could just pick what kids they wanted? Oh, it was standard practice. So it was like, what was it, like a magazine? Or? Bill, GB10. Yeah, what's that? GP10, that's the, uh, if you like, the catalogue that, that, that's uh, custom seized off Tripper. It was called GP10. It was a list of all boys under the age of 14 that were available for sale. So it was a catalogue? Catalogue. Yeah, for, for people pay for ice bids when you pay. Well, so like, if I, if I want to buy, say I want to buy a new drill, I look at the catalogue and it's all different drills. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. And, I, and it's all different drills. So I, would so I choose whatever drill I want. And they had that catalogue with kids. <laughs> Who printed that? I can't tell you Dan who printed it. I can't tell you. Chris, you, can you help on this one? Who printed that catalogue? Uh, that that catalogue was, I don't know if you know Operation Orchid. Yeah. Operation Orchid was not set up to catch Sydney Cook. It was set up in response to what was called the babysitting ring. This was a group of people around babies. London, including mm. Leslie Bailey. Proper babies. Yeah. Proper sexy babies. Proper yeah. babies. That's, Proper. That's, 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 how, how old you pay babies? a lot of money for that. How old people? are babies? Months old? Year old? Usually about a year up. About a year old. Right, now. And that, sorry Bill, they, they, oh. this babysitting ring produced Russell Tricker of Toff's Travel, who used to smuggle, traffic the kids yeah, to yeah, Amsterdam, yeah. had a <coughs> video catalogue of all the children who were with that babysitting ring being looked after that were available <coughs> for sale. That's the catalogue. That's crazy. It's true. That it's James true. Roth. No, 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 it's real. <coughs> Stop with, uh, I'm sorry, sorry. I was you know what? I've got to fucking. I've got to go outside for a minute, man. I can't be fucking. This is a lot to hear, mate. I've got to go and get a bit of air for a minute. It's true. It was me, bro. You know that, didn't you? You got me fags. I, I don't smoke. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have a fag. Let's have a fag. Yeah. Can I just turn it? Let me make sure the candles are powered off. I'm not going to turn it. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn it. And these, just literally trying to move it. Yeah, hang on. Andy, all we want is something for the fucking express today. I'll do my interview with you. Just give him something. Andrew, he needs you to confirm what I've told him. Bill, that's just how that is. Don't move that. Leave it on, leave it on. If you do that, that's all he wants. Oh, fucking leave that in. Leave that, leave that book, as well. Book. Yeah. If the place is bogged, then I've got to. I get it. I get it in the neck, not you. Come. Because I'm I said it, not you. Okay. You confirmed what I said. No. The world will need to no. get up and out of it. Remember? No, no. yeah. He said that was all right. It's not a fact, bro. Oh, he I'm said that was, it was all right. You Chris, can we sleep you too? If I said it. Yeah. Yeah. To, yeah. yeah. So yeah, he, from where you are is good. Oh, he, 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 confer, he, he said it was all right for you to confirm it if somebody else said it. Yeah, but I've got to say no first time. Well, you said no. <laughs> Do you want to sit there? No, I'm all right. I'll stand up. It's all right. Yes. I'm going to say no first time. Well, you said no. Now, I've mentioned the name. I've brought up the security service. I'm the one that's told James that. All, all you need to do is confirm it. You know, they just blame me for fucking up. Uh, they no, can't. No, they, they, well, that, one's, they, that, one's, that, one's, that one's all right. It's going. If you sit there, and if you, if you do talk to him, make sure you see him, so I've got the shot lined up. It's in the same place, isn't it? Yeah. 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 That's right, okay. Right. That's yeah, fine, mate. Quick fan, mate. Yeah. So, that's what I'm saying to you. I'm, you're doing what you've been told to do. You're, conv you're not. You're not offering the information. Well, I've just fucked the operation up, haven't I? No. What operation? Well, there must be something going on. They've got all this trouble of bugging the police. That's MI5. That's nothing to do with the police. You know, Fernbridge. The only operation they've got established looking at this is Fernbridge. Fernbridge's brief was the own guest house. Sydney Cook is done and dusted because that's what they set up Operation Orchid for. And that was over 20 years ago, so what operation? You're not fucking anything up, mate. Honestly, you're not. You're doing as you've been told to do. I'm mentioning the names. They said it was all right, you could confirm it. That's yeah. all you have to I'm do. Not, I don't want to upset anybody. You're not upsetting anybody. No, you're not, mate. But it's all right, I'll take the flag. I, I, that's why I kept butting in. I, I've told him the security service. All you've done is confirm it, and that's what they said you could do. Yeah? I don't know how they've done that, though, have I? All we need to, to tell him is, yes, the security services were present at a couple of interviews you well, did. Well, the world was present, security services. They were there when parties were at parties, they were... Right, but then James, James, all James needs to hear is you to confirm what I've told him, that the security services were present at a couple of interviews at least that Fernbridge did with you. Yes or no? Yeah, but... Yes. But I didn't know if they never no. put themselves as... A no, of course not. There's four do. of them and it's normally two of them, yeah. Yeah, they never do. Settle and they dress differently. What what Settle exactly told you when he said he said he couldn't confirm that, didn't he? But he did confirm they were not his officers. Yeah. Right. So they just was in London when they, when, they, when, they, when they were interviews down there. And so they but I've been to London. Yeah, but so the office they were they were let's confirm they were um, special branch slash MI five officers sitting in on interviews. Probably we quite a lot of interviews, yeah. Uh, quite a lot of interviews. At different times, but... And you didn't know who they were to begin with, it was only when you asked uh, Paul Settle that the... Uh, no, because Paul Settle didn't actually... He didn't know who they he, were? No, he knows who they are, but he wouldn't tell me. He no. just said he's one of the, just some of our lads. Some of our lads. Some of our lads from upstairs. Okay. That's how it... But I never put two and two together. But he did tell you that the, the, the other two that you were concerned about were Dutch. Special branch. Well, they're special type. branch from yeah. I did TikTok with special branch from Dutch, from and Amsterdam. And that angle was because there was tra people, young kids like yourself, trafficked out from London to Amsterdam. But so there's um, you got to understand it's not a one way thing. We, no, we had Dutch kids and other stuff come over here and they were investigating and this being so Dutch going kids. Both ways. So it was a two way thing. And, and, that, and they wanted to find out if I could get them to speak. And to also kids them. from Eastern Europe too, yeah. being trafficked via Berlin. Yeah. They just wanted me to speak to see if I could, if I could 
and tried to get out of him because he wouldn't speak to him. He wouldn't speak to him, but he says, but when he, when he says my name, mm. he wanted to speak to me. But I told him, it wasn't like you think. Oh, it was like this. And there was nobody in that room apart from a screw guard, and he was in and out of that room. So this was Roger Cook, yeah? I had Roger Cook, I had Sydney Cook. Yeah. <coughs> okay. and, this, and this was. And, and there was there, there was Snopes there. Because it was because the um, Nathan and the other guy weren't even around. They went off for a couple of hours to do other stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, um, took place. So, mm. and, yeah. and, the, and the reason why they were there, and the reason why they were involved, MI5 Special Branch, Dutch Special Branch, was because of the sensitivity of the names that you were telling the police. Who N- were names? Um, they've gone more daft. They've gone daft since they got. I was fine when they got the documents from NAPEC. Yeah. I was fine up to then. Mm-hmm. But everything was recorded when I was working with, with Jill Priestley in the papers, because Maxwell had everything called to print himself. Mm-hmm. The police have got copies of all those recordings now from the paper. From Eve Pollard. Some, well, yeah, Priestley in Spanish. So it has it's gone from Will Pollard, yeah. yeah they must have gotten from here, Paul Lard. But they said they've got the tapes and stuff now, a load of stuff now, mm-hmm. and stuff. Mm-hmm. And as soon as they got those tapes, because I was making phone calls to selected MPs, or making photo of the day, I was making phone calls to us, and I had all the numbers, I had the diaries, I had everything. And when I came to NAPEC, mm-hmm. I had a box like that, I'm joking, a little box about that high, like, well, only like that. One of, yeah, and well, it had everything that. because Chris came down because they, they sent the lad down. Mm-hmm. Then Chris came down. So the lad says, "I don't know what to bring." He says to Chris, "I don't know what to. I don't know what to get." Chris and soon as he explained the things to Chris, says, "I'm on my way down." Chris got in his car and he came down that evening and everything. And and Chris Chris went and talked to um, right. Chris went to talk. What, to, what we'll do, Andy, is we'll. What we want to do is because we've got, we want to try and sort of um, just slow things down a little bit and take things clo- clearly and concisely. Um, and if you want, you don't have to, you can just say yes or no, just so I know. Okay. Now, Operation Firmbridge approached you on y- your birthday last May. Yeah. That's when they first came to That's when they first came to you. They, you didn't go to them, they came to you. I never went to them. Um, there was a. Th- they followed a series of interviews with Fernbridge that happened over a series of months, uh, usually in Bridlington, uh, in, a, in a police house which the police yeah, used. There's only a Bridlington. couple of times they've been out of Bridlington, really. Okay. And those few times that you've been out of Bridlington were in London. Yeah, and um, yeah, London, yeah. yeah. London and the Isle of Wight. And the yeah. Isle of Wight. Mm. And then when you were in London and the Isle of Wight, there were two officers there that you didn't recognise, um, and you asked who they were later on. And, and what you were told were that they were, they were from upstairs. Yeah, just just upstairs, just to. Yeah. To, well, I don't know what the main look. Upstairs. Just from upstairs. And you were later told that there were spooks, there were spies, or there were intelligence. I overheard it were things because it was talking in the room and that, and I says, I says, um, well, the mother from upstairs, upstairs the secret services. All right. And they took one having a dinner. Right. You know, like when you, they stop the interviews and you go for your lunch and, yeah. and stuff. And the sort of, it just one yeah. in those times when we were talking and they told me, but they didn't openly tell me on phones or didn't openly tell me, so. No. Okay. Um, and the reason why the, the security services were involved is because of the sensitivity of the names that you were telling to the telling the I think it's, they don't want, I've got a big, I had a, I've got a list of things I can't go on there, which is in my head. Mm-hmm. I don't want to go there, and I've really showed them I wouldn't want to go there. Mm-hmm. They couldn't be touched anywhere because they're too high. Mm-hmm. You can't touch some pe- high people in this country. Well, Even you, you try to do a report on it and try to do that, yeah. I tell you it'll be stopped before it even gets it published by people mm-hmm. above you. Because they'll be told your slitters and lawyers will tell that cat. Yeah, that cat uh, but one of the people that you were told, one of the people you told to the police was the Umbrella. Yeah, yeah. He'd been abusing your parties in London. Uh, and there were other senior MPs as well. Uh, there's an MP called. There's a, there's a, a civil force myth, yeah? Yeah. 
Um, Raymond won a few pubs for him, but mm -hmm. I lived with and everything, and we've done a few pubs for him back. Mm -hmm. Yes, but get, getting back, I, I, I want to get back to Leon Bridge because I know um, from what the information settled came to me for, there's one surefire way of identifying Leon Britain above anything else. Do you want to tell James how, what that is? His birthmark. His birthmark. And where was his birthmark? On his... Um I don't want to stand up because I've got a shot. No, no, just, just, just sort of on the thigh, just uh, on the thigh. Right, now I'm just asking you if you will tell James the story about you, the young girl that you told me at Max Clifford's apartment near Broadcasting House. Could you just tell that story, Andy? Hmm. Well, I could tell the story, but... Well, it's only Max Clifford. We won't put something being clear, don't they? Ah, huh? he's just being clear. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 clear. Clear. no, no, no. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you, t I mean, uh, he's got seven victims. Today, again, I've, I've got to put this through lawyers and stuff. So, if you tell me, it will just be for now background information purposes. Because it I won't was, be able to print it. It were more girls, or with you're right. You yeah, met Clifford, but tell, remember the story you told me when you went to his apartment and he gave you a cigarette and a drink. They gave a cigarette, and drink, and those. You could have some drugs if you wanted there. And St was that just you, Clifford, and the girl? Me there, Clifford, and the girl. But I went with uh, with I, somebody. I went as a gift. I was not a gift. I was a. I went there as a stud. Stud. I don't know if you call it. I was the stud. You the yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. But you had to have sex with. It was a free. We had a threesome. Yeah. Okay. You had a threesome with Max Clifford, mm. and his name was mentioned to police in his interviews. By you, um, possibly. I can't remember all the names that I've mentioned. But there was a so there was a number seven of seven hours, yeah. And this was the reason why they had the security services sitting on at least two of your interviews. That you think? <laughs> more, if you more, put it like that. more. No, if you put it that, that probably so. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think because I didn't know at the time, but now when you tell how you're putting it, yeah, it makes a bit of sense. <laughs> that they were sitting in. <laughs> um, Right. Did the Dutch police officers ask you anything? Very little. Uh, they just wanted to find out. They really wanted to find out because they wanted to find out if any of their kids was involved in. Right. They were more interested in that. That's why on my blog I put about the Dutch police a bit. You know, they're not bothered. They're mm. not bothered about us. They didn't come from me. Mm. Did they? Did they mention the Rolodex study by any chance? The Dutch police. Uh, yeah, it's part of that. I think. Part of the Rolodex. Yeah, it's a part of that still there. Oh. But I told you they were doing it and there was one there at first place. Yeah. I can't find one. Nobody knows about it. I've had some people sniff them out. Right. He does what he says, but it was right. there. Right. <laughs> what, what, what were the members of the special branch asking you? Were they more interested in Leon? They Britain? never asked questions. They just stood they just, they sat, just there sat there. there they didn't never ask questions, honestly, they never asked me questions. Tell us about Edwina Curry. Can you tell that story that you told me about Edwina Curry? <laughs> Come on, suck on this. <laughs> Tell the story. <laughs> Tell the story, eh? Come on, Ed. <clears throat> and John Major. Yeah. Right. Edwina Curry. Mm, that was a party as well. Where was the party? Can you remember? In London. Right. What happened? Put yourself, back, put your mind back to that party. Get the picture in your head and tell us who was there. First, tell us who was there first. I'm not fucking names. Was Edwina Curry there? She was, she was definitely there, yeah. Right, was John Major there? Mm, yeah, there was quite a few MPs there. Right, quite a few MPs at this party. Mm -hmm. Now just yeah. tell us what happened between you See, and Edwina Curry. See, there's so many parties and so many different things. I'm yeah. just trying to get the right one in my... Just do that one. Tell us about Edwina Curry. What did she do? What, what what did she do? I had sex with her because she made me lick a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming over there. Ah, uh, uh, she's coming yeah. over there, Andy. She made me lick a pussy out. Oh, 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 oh. Edwina Curry, what happened at she, this party? She was up. She's um. She, she we didn't go to party. People stay in their own groups, so you go to things and that and different rooms. 
No, she was the edge out. It was like an edged on thing, and the thing like they edge each other on, you know, like mm -hmm. whatever. What, in a crowd, in a crowd. Yeah, but when I say a crowd, it, few, few people. Was it was it big, 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 so at the cabinet office? Downing Street one. It could have been there, but I think it was at the nightclub because it's... Oh, a nightclub, right. right. It was so tell me about fellas. You had sex with Edwina Curry? Yeah? Yeah, I didn't put my dick in it, if that's what you mean. Well, we'll call it a So, you made a grateful for small She made you lick her pussy? Yeah. And she did it. Tell me, tell me. And done to do it. Yeah. The only thing, and the people that did it was like... So Edwina Curry got you, there was a little crowd, and she's all having a laugh. And then she pushed her, uh, she pushed me head on and everything. She's all you, she she pushed her head down onto her pussy. When she puts her head down there, did she say anything? She did, I can't remember what she said. I can't remember. So long ago, I can't remember all the words yeah. she said. So, so you had, had all sex with her? Is that what you call all sex if you didn't come out yet? Yeah. yeah. How was she down there? Was she clean? <laughs> awful, didn't like it. it. Didn't like it, why? Because it's well, stunk. Stunk, yeah. Right, so she didn't very clean. Who else was at the party? Was John Major at that party? He went, he'd go earlier. He, we did with a party, John Major would go earlier. What did John Major like, boys or girls? I've never had sex with John. I don't think I've ever had sex. I could have done. Because mm, there were a lot of drugs involved, weren't there? What drugs were they? You could have speed, you could have coke. Those yes. are the main two drugs, mm -hmm. but they also put stuff in our um, drinks and stuff. Spiked you? Spiked us, yeah. Mm. Everything that we, we, they will never touch our drinks if we got drinks, we'd have his own drinks and stuff. Was Jimmy Savile at that party with Edwina Curran? Yeah, he was there. We've got quite a few BBC there, uh, quite a lot of BBC there. So he was there? Well, there, yeah, there were a lot of BBC and there. And that was a night that you had to... Yeah, it was the BBC, it was in the BBC lot. <clears throat> Well, the BBC a lot were doing it there because the MPs, a couple of the quite a few MPs were there, but they were just shaking the head, like sort of shaking their head and joking about it and that. They're shaking the head and sort of mm -hmm. putting the hands out, saying, no, no, but they were still there. A couple of the parties, yeah, exactly. so. because you know what it is. It's like a little, what, what, what I need, me personally, people to understand is that all these parties you see, when people are talking about this child abuse, they're thinking like it was all violent, violent. It wasn't all violent like Sidney Cook used to perpetrate or or Jimmy Savile. It was more in the respect of fun. So you felt like adults because they were giving you, letting you smoke. You could have cigarettes. You could have drink, and you could have sex with people like Edwin the Curry or whatever. Don't forget the. So you must the, have felt quite powerful. Don't so forget the, they get you into string fellows and stuff like that. They can get you into. A, Top places and stuff, and so and, and string fellas had no problem. If I'd gone to a door, a little kid, there's no one as a kid. If I'd gone to a door, the string fellas they tell me to bugger off, yeah, I'm underage or something. Yeah, but if I go in with somebody who's got some authority, they don't even ask a question, they just wave them in. Who, who, tell, tell me some of the people you went to string fellas with, give me one. Give, give James one, you can give me lunch. Being in with Jimmy Savile, I've been in with. You went in with Jimmy Savile? I've been in with um, quite a few. Um, I went in with Clifford. Clifford, and I went in. Did, did you go into string fellas with Clifford? I've been in with Clifford, yeah. How old was you? 15. Mm. You went to all the best places. <laughs> mm. I would have fucking died to go to string fellas. You know what I mean? So I've got string fellas. I was quite. Um, Dance floor comes a part of the floor, and it was all new there back then. It was all. Can I, can I tell you how I see it? I'll tell I'll see you it as a mind control. You understand? Now, I'm a parent and I'm a grandparent, right? Now, see my little, my grandkid. If I gave him, if I said chocolate, he'd eat it. Chocolate, he'd eat it. He'd eat till he was sick. And when he gets a bit older, if I said have a drink, he'd have a drink. He'd do, do you understand? Mm -mm. So these people were not just coming across as friends, they put you in a full sense of security where you believed that you were adults. When they have the parties and string fellows, they don't do it when the public's there. It's like a lot, because these used to be laws them days that you had to close at a certain time, even nightclubs had to close mm -hmm. at a certain time. Yeah. 
and and then so, they have afters and they have afters but that's where the party would be in the top yeah. VIP suite like at the top and above the VIP suite is like a flat tap area with office it was done what uses a flat really it was had rooms in and stuff with beds in down mm. one side and then did you ever see Mick Jagger at any of these parties boy George Mick Jagger I've seen uh, I've seen a lot of a lot of mm. I've seen a lot of um, Cliff Richards were there there's been no no I didn't go to that one sorry what you're on about I've seen him at parties um, Elton John were there though Elton John do you know do you know what vicarious liability is vicarious liability right is supposing um, I had a sex party for children, right, and they were there, and someone was not taking part in that sex or anything, but they were there, and they never disclosed that information to the police. That makes them guilty of vicarious liability, and it's a serious charge. Well, they haven't charged, they haven't charged, um, they haven't charged, um, who, uh, not, they haven't charged Cliff, no, they haven't charged Cliff Richards who says he's been in these places to no. but he didn't touch them. No. It all been in our guest house. I said, oh, you, you, oh, I didn't know that was going on. It's, Did it's, you ever go to our own guest house? I could have done, I don't know. But you can't remember because so much has I've been so over to so many different shady places in um, London, it's unbelievable. So when you I'm say, when you, when you was going to all these parties, Andy, you was in, on drink and drugs. So there was a lot of stuff that you couldn't remember. Because of it, is that it? Ooh, you wake up and you go to a party, and then you can wake up in somebody's bed day after, and you don't know how you got there mm. because of the stuff that give you. And you skip, you start getting drunker and drunker, and you just thought it was a drink because you drink daft. Mm -hmm. Don't care what anybody says when you're a young kid and it's air free. You drink daft, especially when you're out of care. Can I ask you, Andy, when you put these names, when you gave the officers these names, people <coughs> like uh, Edwina Curry, people like. Uh, uh, Leon Britton, what was the reaction of the officers, the police officers who were interviewing you? The eyes didn't go up, they just says not one. Some of the names it says not again. Not was again? It, who was that? Was that Leon Britton? Yeah, who did they say Leon Britton? Yeah. What about Edwina Curry? Yeah. She, the, the, the eyes, his, his face, you could tell his face expressions. Nathan is good at not giving things away, mm -hmm. but he gives it away with his face, so you can look at his face when you're in, if you like that, and look at your face. <laughs> I'm saying something, I say something, yeah. his face up, when he says it's serious, serious look, and then if you say something, his face goes up, you know, you can tell when he's getting excited when you tell him something. Yeah. Did, did, you, did he do that on Edwina Curry? Did he did he get that excited? On, yeah, quite a lot of You're people, quite, few quite. people. Mm. Did you ask to see these videos that you're in with uh, Lil? Can't see anything like that, the one, no. poison, the one. If I see, <clears throat> if I ask to see those now, mm. I had a police officer, I had a thing, mm. and I'm looking at a kid, have sex so I can be arrested, that's what I was told, so that's where the car. Oh, for fuck's sake, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but did, you, you know these, um, did, at, at, these, at these parties, at, the, at, at these parties, right, the, the people that were there, were they all involved in the sex or were some of them like just voyeuristic and because you told me a story like Max Clifford was a bit of a voyeur he wanted yeah, to watch you have sex with yeah, that, that girl some people just like to watch and some people took photos if they could for the so they were taking things. pictures there as well yeah, and so pictures, most places photos are taken uh, virtually everywhere I mean, even in guest houses are taken seems to be an in thing in guest houses having video cameras now you're going back when video cameras well, you don't have to be really rich to have video cameras yeah, no, yeah, yeah. you know these yeah. are like you go in the scruffiest bed and breakfast sort of place guest house type of place and sometimes you don't even have a guest house you know broken windows with a bit of tape on and everything and soon as you go in the have a <laughs> big massive camera there and yeah <laughs> that sounds like the old guest house yeah. just, just saying, saying sorry was Peter Stringfellow aware of everything that was going on in his club? He likes little girls. Oh, and he so he was part of that group he as well. He was part of that group. How, how old did the girls. little girls he like? Never age. touched a boy in Jinx Stringfellow, to my knowledge. What age did he like his girls? Twelve up. Oh, fuck. What about Esther Ranson? She was being cheap. I've seen her in parties at BBC. Do you know the big round building at BBC? Yeah. But What, the sex parties? I couldn't you? say her husband, not, not uh, her husband. Was he there? Her husband went to it. He's, he's, he's a Mason. Mason. He's, he's dead now, isn't he? Mm. Yeah. There were allegations against him. 
And, and what about her brother? Did her brother go? She got a brother? I don't know. I want no mm. brother, so I possibly. What's her husband do, if you don't mind asking? I don't know what job he did. No, but when he went to the parties, was he part of the, for the children? Like He's bisexual, yeah. he likes boys and girls. Quite a lot of them do. Yeah. That's why they're both there. Yeah. Over, over Christmas, um, the police, you had a police officer looking after you, didn't you? Like, on the, You didn't realise it, but you... We were a bit, well, I did know, I, I did realise it, I did know because I signed, me, we signed documents to say it were, oh, we didn't know we'd signed the document. We did. They come one day mm -hmm. with some, doc you forgot, we've, we've got some documents for you to, to sign. He said, okay, mm -hmm. we'll go through them. They, came, they went through the first couple of documents. Right. But then the documents kept coming, and kept coming. And you just and signed then, them. And then they were coming very really quick and some documents were in shorthand. And mm -hmm. I, I can't read shorthand. To me, it was like shorthand. And yeah. But the, the, the officer but said that he'd been assigned by Fernbridge to look after you, make sure you're all right. And he'd mentioned that there were uh, MI5 officers working up. No, in the it was uh, Nathan and uh, the Scottish guy that was with me all the time. Temley. There was with me all the We went to the hotel, they were there, not surfaces. Mm -hmm. not yeah. the, but they were there, they kept coming, you kept seeing them and stuff. But they said that the, 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 the members of the security services were staying in a hotel. We were all staying at the same hotel for, for three days. What hotel was that? Uh, it was Castle. Uh, oh. What's it called, Chris? I think it's called Castle Hotel. Castle Hill. Castle Hill Hotel. Castle Hill Hotel. Is it in Hull? Yeah, it's got swimming pool. Yeah. It's, a, it's a quite a swanky one, isn't it? Hat posh Spanky. price. Spanky, do you need it? No, but posh price, is it? £35 for a bowl of soup. So we own in, we own in being, we own in about, probably we're just about half, just over halfway in interviews, mm -hmm. and I've done 70 hours because it, you've got to realise there was a lot of, from the day when I was eight years old, mm -hmm. to leaving school, well not just leaving school to when I was 21. Mm -hmm. But I have been told that we don't want you to really go on about between leaving school and 21 because of the new laws. So, they're not concentrating on that now. I, I was quite interested, the question he asked you about whether Fernbridge ever gave you an explanation as to why they want because Cook was part of Operation Orchid, which is a done and dusted, finished police operation. It's not been reopened. No, because it's a different inquest investigation. Yeah, exactly. So did he give this you an explanation as to why what was clearly covered by Operation Orchid, done and dusted, was in Fernbridge, which was about something totally different? Do they indicate, I mean, somewhere there must be a link between the two for Fernbridge. I wouldn't know, Chris. And he didn't tell you? No, he didn't tell me. So he just basically said they wanted you to go in and talk to Sydney Cook? Well, no, I didn't say go and talk to him. We'd, he'd, only, he'd only talk, he says he'd like to talk to you. We think it'd be good if you, can, if you could go and talk to him. Yeah. And if you talk to him, can you try to get this out of him, that out of him, they gave me a list of things that I, I tried to get out of him but I couldn't put into it. So they must have already spoken to then him. Well, to yeah, his name's come up in investigations and they've gone there and he won't talk. Right, for the Thurnbridge investigation this would be. So then they've asked you to ask specific questions of Cork. Can you remember what they were? It was a piece of paper I wrote off a cat. I know it sounds silly but I can't remember. Yeah. There's just, there's, the lads' names, kids' names, some of them were kids' names, there were a load of names there, like, of kids. And did, a great big list of kids' names and stuff. Did the name Vishnu Marat come out? Rings a bell, it could. Possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. A bell rings a bell, but I can't remember the first name. Can you remember what Edwina Curry was wearing that night? Do you have any knickers on? Yeah, she had red knickers on, like red knickers. <laughs> red? Red, racy tight knickers, because she took them off and swung them around and said, and went like that, it's like coming, like a bit like a bloody plus, not prostitute, like a stripper. Oh, I don't know, so. well, I don't know, was she giving it all that, like, hey. Yeah, well, she was drunk out, she was totally drunk out, out of her head. Was she taking any drugs, any cocaine or anything? 
Keep us surprised. We'll just take cocaine. Surprise us. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, everyone. Surprise us. Who well, takes? We're speaking on the, nearly all the musicians that I knew and stuff like that. And what about the politicians? What about the politicians? A couple of politicians. Not well, all the politicians. I'll tell you something. A, a Labour Party conference, Andy. It was about. Um, 12 years ago, they tested every toilet on every venue. They didn't find one toilet clean. They found cocaine on every one. Well, when they went to and 90 percent of banknotes have cocaine on back, them. Back in the day when Thatcher was in power, yeah. When I went to a party, when I was, I went to a party in Thatcher, and the, it's it's been recorded. It's been so they the know that I was there. So I've been. Uh, I went to a party in, in uh, number 10, but not in 10 itself because there's a big massive. They're all connected together. You go in, and it's massive. Cause you think it's, you look on TV, you think it's just one house, don't you? So, but as you, you go, when you go inside, it's like three, four, it's nearly all block. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you went, in, when you went into, when you went in there, you go in the front door, and then there's a passage. Um, what colour was it? What colour were the walls? Can you remember? They were different. Then there was like a, there was like a brown carpet. Like, there was, there was wallpaper then, a lot of wallpaper, and they had like brown type brown. I don't know if they were frozen or what on, but they're like it was like your yeah, necks. Best flop wall. <laughs> was it? Flop, was it yeah. like you I see your necks, Andy? Oh, yeah. See the necks behind you. Was it like that busy, like a busy? Busy like that, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Andy, can you remember the the, the, the MPs that that did take cocaine? Yeah. That you could think of. Mm. I can tell you, but I can't remember, isn't it? His name's just gone out of my head. Today, isn't it? He's in, still in, but he's still in government today, and he's, he's, he's virtually bald now, but he was only a boy. Hake. Back then. William Hake. And William he was just a kid that back a boy, back, a young boy back. Well, not a young boy, he was a teenage, you know, probably your age. William Hake, is that? Yeah, probably, was around your age then, yeah, 20, 30. William Hake, was yeah, it? William Hake. Yeah. Can we get a picture of William Hague? Anyone got one? Get one on their phone or something? I've got, I've got one, man. We've been with several. Show him. And he's sniffing. Uh, it was William Hague. No, it's on the drive. It was, it's, it's, it's gingerish, bald, sort of horseshoey, sort of haircut. Sort of. But, but, but I liked Coke because I'll tell you why you like Coke because you get the right Coke. I mean, the top quality stuff. I don't mean there's a lot of shite about. I'm not a Coke head anymore. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I, how I got hooked on Coke back then and the saying how it was then is. The top quality stuff was was quite powerful, mm. especially when people made love to you all out. It used to. It's a sex drive, isn't it? It puts you in a different thing. Everything sounds. It's like magnified brass there. In, do you know what I mean? Don't you? Everything's it's a different sound. world, isn't it? It's and you're out of it, so. And you can do anything. Yeah, it's it's feel invincible and that. Yeah. It just enhances, enhances it. pleasure. Mm. Mm. Um, did anyone, did any of the. Prominent people that you've named, please. Did they ever hit you and use physical violence against you? MP from 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 Hull, the, the went in for police constable, but I'm not going to say his name. But he, I've just said his name by saying he stood up for police constable. It's not really? MP. Oh, come on, John. Just take his name. John Scott. Am I right? John Scott. John Scott. Right? Right? Temper. John. And he hit you. He has hit me. Yeah. Uh, what did, what, did he do any damage? Was it black eye? Was it bruise? Was there blood? Was it severe beating? Or? There's a few MPs. There's an MP, but there's one MP that likes to likes to be met, play the role of master because mm -hmm. he used to be a school teacher. He used to be he used to be a school. He used to have a children's home type boarding school thing. It was had something to do with those, and he like he still likes to play that role. In the, and so, it, so it's with the young boys, he likes to play master to you, mm -hmm. especially if you're young and everything. So he'll have his cane when you go in his room, he'll have his cane and put his old croak on, his, an old croak. And, um, Is he still, still an MP? Or an old former MP? I don't know if he's still an old in, former MP. But, I do know who you mean, he was headmaster of quite a well-known school. Right. Oh. And he, he would dress up as headmaster? Yeah, he and he'd, he'd cane you. And yeah. abuse you and stuff. And he's a friend of Harvey Proctor's. Yeah, right? that's kind of good. So it was like role play. Yeah. In, yeah. In the thing is, yeah, but he didn't do it with role play really. He did it with. What was his name? Is it Keynes, aren't you? So he actually caned you? Yeah, he caned you. And and it was more than once. That. He liked his cane, you'll spank you. He'll use his. If you're a good boy, he'll use his pump, soft pump. 
Was that often, or was it more than once? I only had sex with them about maybe five times at different times. So through me life, through me life. Yeah, yeah. Was, was Harvey Proctor over there with him? Hello. I did have photographs. I had photographs. I did to because you know what I'm names. Members of the Special Branch and Security Service had sat in on interviews with you along with the Metropolitan Police. At certain times, at not certain every times. single at certain no, times. No, no, yes. only certain times. And it was because of the sensitivity of the... Yeah, I mean, we, we came to the interviews like a lamb loyalty or something because I've been to... I went to a, 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 a ship, a big Royal Navy aeroplane carrier. Yeah. And when I were a young thing, I was taking yeah, I don't go there. Go there. Don't no, go no, there. no, no. But that, but what I meant is the sensitivity information. So your prominent MPs, but prominent business like that and stuff. So it's yeah. different. I think we'd better leave the helicopter pilot out. <laughs> no, fine. <laughs> um, uh, I think I know who you mean. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, and you tell Liam Moore. You've um, you you've still got to speak to the police. <coughs> yeah, um, this is. I don't know when I'm going to talk to him. I don't know. I'll go off to all this, you know, like, I, think I don't know how you're going to put that on Sunday. Or well, what I'll do is, whatever I write, I'll, I'll send them to somehow Bill or to Plus, that's all going to be censored anyway through the yeah. system. Do you, got, do you need any more? Have we done here? I think we're, we're, we're there, I think. I, I anything think else? I, just, I don't know how full I've been or not, but... Yeah, well, back no, no, it's been just been very, very useful. Yeah. Very, very yeah. useful. Yeah. It was the touch, yeah. yeah, it was um, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. to touch special yeah. bras. It was. And it was, yeah. as yeah. Andrew yeah. confirmed, yeah. operation, yeah. Uh, sorry, the Rolodex study. Yeah. Mm. That was a special unit set up by um, yeah. the Dutch government yeah. to look at, uh, specifically yeah. to look yeah. at trafficking. Yeah. Which I was trafficking is all the time. Mm. And they wouldn't know yeah. who the Dutch victim is. Yeah, there was no, I'm the English, the no, they did ask a lot of questions about that. The Dutch? Yeah, they did. And you knew they were Dutch because they had different accents and they obviously had well, different uniforms. Well, Dutch, the ID cards are Dutch, haven't they followed it? And of course yeah. you've got the Minister of Justice, he mm. mean, or whatever his name is, uh, the Crown Prince, mm -hmm. all of that lot. Sure. Which is why it, it was closed down at one point. Mm. But it was, uh, I was waiting because they've always denied it. Mm. But if it is Robotex, then it's yeah. definitely a uh, Zyden police, mm -hmm. you know, it's a like national police. They've got, a, they've got an article on it in one of their Dutch purple papers at the moment. Have that? Yeah, they've got, a, you, they've got a, one of the Dutch papers has got an article on it because you said earlier. Yeah, it's quite a few. I didn't know if you got a you transfer to use yeah. it. Well, it's quite a lot of them about uh, at the moment. It's, it's over that, it's, it's mm. blowing up again. And I think that's probably why the Amsterdam police were over here. There was just one thing that I did here along the way was uh, there was young children, like uh, disabled children there. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. That was my first, that would have been, I was mean, more early ages and everything. And do you know ever what happened to them children? Oh, there was just the children later on as well, but sometimes. That was more, those sort of things were always, several were always at those dudes. What, with the disabled children? Yeah, several were always at them dudes. Yeah. You, you, oh, when I was talking to you a while ago, you were telling me that um, quite a few of the children were Down syndrome kids. Yeah, that was the well, yeah. Because mm. they enjoyed pleasure, didn't they? And they made them feel good. Mm, yeah, there were girls and boys. Yeah. Several were bisexual. People think he, he was totally straight, but he was bisexual. Mm. And he's a victim because he's, he, I think it was his own, have his own father or uncle, or, or, uncle, I think or uncle yeah. he sexually abused him and he'd tell me, he used to tell me about it sometimes. So, so you, you, you were quite close, close to Jimmy Savile? We, we were close, I used to go, Where did he, where I was you still him? seeing Jack Savile when, when, after 20, when I was after 21. What, you were still seeing Jimmy Savile? Yeah. Did Jimmy Savile ever buy you any presents? He's tight fisted so and so. Is he? Did he give you money? What was he going to pound up? Talking of Savile, you had a photo. You, you and saw it and then you came. Exactly. And where's that photo gone now? I've showed you a gap where Tell him where the photo's gone. What happened to the photo? Who's the only other people apart well, from me and, and us it's that have been in it's your house? It could either be a part of that story when I won't look in, which I doubt, or yourself, or, which I doubt, or, or somebody's coming without me knowing right. and taking that. Right, Chris. 
That, did you see that picture? Yeah. Right. Hang on. You, could you describe yeah. for, for James oh, yeah. the picture, hang on, the picture of Jimmy Savile? And the, the picture of Jimmy Savile was him standing with his arms round Jimmy Savile. The picture of Jimmy Savile was him standing with his arm round a much younger Andrew. Where was that? I in can't recognise In a pair of underpants. Who was you? <laughs> what was he wearing? Uh, he had his tracksuit all open at the top. His uh, uh, that white lame thing. And they took that picture, they made that picture off you. That's, that's bollocks, isn't it? Of course it is. Yeah. Is that the lame, is that the word, that white thing he used to wear? Yeah. Bill Austin is good piece anyway, bugging his ass, then coming back here, taking everything out while they took him for a meal. I know, sure he's been telling he can talk to us, telling he can't talk to us, fucking about, trying to fight in the game. Do you know, do you know, do you know I'll, I'll talk to him. Hang on a sec, hang on. Andy, yeah, sorry, do, you know, do you know anything about um, Peter Sutcliffe or Frank Bruno? Man, Peter Sutcliffe, Yorkshire Ripper? Yeah. yeah. Um, it, Was he ever at a party? He, Brad, that's you're talking about Bradford. He was a part of Bradford. Was he? Who's what about there? hang on? What about Frank Bruno, the boxer? Did you ever see? Oh him? yeah, the, the, new, the, soft, the soft giant. Oh, fucking no. <laughs> that's that's why Frank thought, Bruno. What? What happened to Frank? Oh, Frank Bruno. Giant. What did he do? Did yeah. he? Did yeah. he like yeah. girls, boys? Same as me. Did he like girls or boys, Frank Bruno, or did he touch that Both. One? Both. He was more into both. Frank. Well, did he actually have sex with him? Oh, yeah, he yeah, has had sex with him, yeah. Did you ever see Frank Bruno naked? Yeah, I've seen him naked. Did you ever have had sex with him in his chasing room? In, um, you had sex with Frank Bruno? St. George's Hall, uh, oh, what year were it? How old was you? How old was you? I got the tickets because it was St. George's Hall when I went to it. Did you know that Frank Bruno went to a boarding school? I know, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. I used to play football against them. Mm -hmm. I scored two fucking crackers one. <laughs> one. I did. I was a centre forward. Andrew, how old was you? Bing. At the time, do you think so that Frank Bruno was on the scene? No. Not, not like this, man. I couldn't 100% say what age you were, probably about. Because I keep it confused my age because I didn't go to sure. Most yeah, people go to the school. Was you underage? You were school. I was underage. I was 15. You were school kid. Yeah. Right. Probably about 14. Told you about 13, 14. Um, Andrew, I don't, uh, this is just a, uh, a, a note that I've got here just to ask you. That was so Your evidence is not going to form yeah. part of the family. What do you think Bruno was everywhere with, uh, with uh, Jimmy? Several. And Prince Charles. Possibly, yeah. I thought they called me forward but says I might be needed for a Kate Cost uh, court case soon and not the that, surely. Well you, you never met Stinch. You break the other way. No the other guy in the other thing. Yeah, I know he's fucking in the face. He was a priest. Yeah, I know him, yeah. What about Phil Collins? Phil Collins. Yeah. Oh, no, he's been here. No, Phil Collins. What? String fellas. What, Phil Collins? Yeah. He's in hiding in Switzerland because they found fucking dodgy images on his Gary computer. Glitter. Gary Glitter, but he was into girls. Gary Glitter. Prince Charles? Girls, yeah. Do you know anything about Prince Charles, Andy? Was he in here? <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave that one. We'll leave that one. Do your favour on this. We'll, do, we'll leave that one. I out of Can a bag. McSweeney, yeah. he's Mate. the one currently on trial. Yeah, right. So, right. where did Mate. you know Father McSweeney from? Father McSweeney? Yeah. He's one of those people that, when I'm going to, I had sex with lots of different people and, then, and I went to, I used to go to his house and have, well, a vicarage, and I used to have sex at vicarage. Do you remember which vicarage it was? Where it was? It went a long way out of Bradford and Leeds. Well, I, think Bradford. I think we should wrap it up now. London, yeah. For London, it was in London. James, I think we should wrap it up. Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, let's wrap it up now. Before, yeah, you got that. before London, before mm -hmm. I moved to London, when he when he was down in York, he was down in Yorkshire. Right. I can't remember which part of Yorkshire because I was only young. And then I've seen him in. But London they said well. that you might be. They haven't called you forward, but they just said there's a possibility that you might be required to give evidence in court. Might be, but not possible. Not it don't look like it's going to happen. No. Yeah, but James, you know, the, you know the, um, the Jimmy Savile's driver that recently was meant to go a call and they found him dead in his house, right? We're going there, no. You were going to go a call, weren't you, as a witness? Uh, possibly, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> no, no, Andy, well, Andy there, that's there, it. Uh, that's good, mate. Get for you. What? A concept number, phone number. Uh, I will I can go through Bill, can't you? James, you can go through Bill if you want to. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
I thought, well, I can't give you, I can give you your number, but you yeah. can't, I don't know my mail, but I hope she can get it off me, you thing. Where are you from originally, Andy? Is it Bradford? Bradford. It's a Bradford man. Bradford boy, yeah. Can he do that fucking accent? <laughs> I could do it in Newcastle. Newcastle? They call me the cocky speaking bastard. <laughs> That's what they call me at Newcastle when they're filming the guys up there. Cocky speaking four, bastard. Four, one, nine, six, four, five, three, four, eight, nine, two. Okay. And don't if you try not to put area where I'm living. No, no, no. I, I don't what Paul says. You're in Yorkshire. Yorkshire. North of England. Do you, are you going to have your picture in the paper? Yeah. Will you allow? Oh, no, don't mind that. Why? Can, can, can you, can you do, be filming me? And be stupid enough to say I can't cut the cat. Exactly. Can, can you do a couple of pictures with uh, Sean next door in there? Right. So can we um, just? Copy some of those photographs you built. Yeah, yeah, yeah.